There we go. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Everything's very loud, and also we were very quiet. Um, welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have taken over. We are the cats of the house. Mm -hmm. um, the humans are now dead, and we've been feasting on their corpses for the last few days. Very yum, tasty. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Duke Nukem pumpkin? Uh, no. no, but it could well, be. Well, it could be actually. Chomping on a cigar. I like that. We're going to go with that. Chomping on a gourd. We're going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the show. We have a whole bunch of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, Atari 2600 and 7800 Halloween themed homebrew games yes. to play tonight, including Mick Muse's brand new secret Halloween homebrew <laughs> that I have not played. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Stop chewing on the cables. <laughs> Stop chewing on the cables. Bad cat. Bad cat. <laughs> Our actual costumes didn't arrive. Yes. So this is improv, this and it turned improv. out very nice. Yes, it, it turned is. out really well. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, everyone else with supply issues, we ordered them weeks ago, and they never arrived. So. Yeah. yeah. But they'll be ready for next year, exactly. no problem. Exactly, yeah. And still fairly <laughs> relevant, right? Yes. Yeah, but we won't tell you what they are. Um, so thank you for tuning in uh, to our special Halloween show. Um, Tanya made this pumpkin. I gutted it. Tanya carved it. Yes. And we've got some candies here. Yes, yay, to snack treats. snack on. Treats. Treat time. Treat time for, for the cats. For the cats. Yeah. Um, and we are the cats, so we get treat time now. <laughs> yes, Tanya rings the bell yes, for treat I do. time. That's right. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so uh, let's get into it and thank everybody for tuning in and supporting the show as well. Um, I want to thank all the subscribers including the ones that just resubscribed before the show, uh, who include Dan ABC, Spiceware, Muddy Funster, Pack Rap VG. Oh, wow. Yeah, just before the show. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss them because their names aren't up on the, um, yeah. on the scrolly bit. Yep. Um, so... I want to thank Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Charles and Chuck, Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Crossbow, Dionoi, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cow's Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ozier Rapper, Johnny WC, Juan Urata, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark Space Gank, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Pack Rap, VG, Koag, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Retro, Salerman, Ricardo, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Lost Cartridge, Welshman, uh, 89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, VHZC, X Can X, and Zeb Chi. Uh, you can see all their wonderful names down the side. Thank you so much for supporting us. Um, and if you want to do that too, just hit subscribe. And it's free if you link it up to Amazon. Uh, we didn't order them from Amazon, did we? The, no, no, but it was definitely being shipped. From Everything's China, slow. So... Everything's slow. Yeah, unfortunately. And uh, yes, the list is actually longer every show. <laughs> so there's it, more it and more people. It keeps going up. It's great. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much yeah. for enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Charles and continuing Whelan. to subscribe as well. So. And uh, yeah. thanks for everybody tuning in tonight. Charles Whelan, Muddy mm -hmm. Funster, Dan EVC, D Train, Miss Command RC70, oh, uh, S Ramirez, Splendid Nut, mm -hmm. Andy Cat. Uh, Rod Castler, Metal Lunar, uh, Rendered Ghost, Mick Muse, who are, whose game we're going to play very shortly, Dan AVC, uh, D Train, Spiceware, uh, Phaser Cat Games, Muddy Funster, uh, probably repeating myself now. Um, oh, and I know up here, Crossbow. Uh, Vitoko, and anybody else you missed, so. Does your shirt have a pixel on it? Oh, it should, but it doesn't. No. There's no stain on this shirt. No. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, so the pixel art in the intro graphic, um, the background is by Trip and Effect. I just thought I'd mention that. And we just passed 900 followers on Twitch. You can see, wow. right? 
there. Oh, look at that. Yep, thank wow, you. Wow, that's awesome. Ternarian for being the 903rd. 903rd. I think it might have gone over 900 last time. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so thank you so much. And we do have some mail today. Open up. Let's see what it is. I like in the treat. Uh, what is the poll? Of what's the best Halloween candy? Well, we can make it an unofficial poll. Yeah. Um, so what is everybody's favorite yes. Halloween candy? I really, I really like rockets quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and I like, um, you like probably Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. And also Nibs. Yeah. Those are some Those of my favorites. Those are high favorite. on your list for Very candies. high on I am a big fan of the peanut butter chocolate combo. So oh, Reese's yes. peanut butter cups. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter and chocolate. Real high. So good. Um, Reese's, yep. Yeah. Oh, Smarties. These are not Smarties. We no, are, no, no. We are Canadian. Yeah, they're called Rockets in Canada. Rockets. And Smarties are called Smarties. The Smarties from Britain. Yeah. So, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so this is from Protovision. Schooled, schooled in Canadian candy, right? <laughs> right. You have to understand Canadian terminology here. Yep. Um, this is from Protovision, and I saw this game. Um, Tootsie Rolls, I see candy corn. D-Train, come oh, on. Oh, the worst. Ooh, look, always, going for controversy there. Always on the bottom of the <laughs> tier list for candy. Um, I saw this being advertised not too long ago. And I love shooters. Mm. So this is for the C64. Uh, oh. Soul Force. Oh, what a nice box. And it's supposed to be it's one like of the best door. best shooters on the C64 in terms of homebrew. Wow. Um, it's got tons of levels, and they're all very different. Nice. And so it looks to be amazing. <laughs> you people have no taste. <laughs> uh, pumpkin pie Kit Kats. Kit Kats also rank very high. Yes. Big fan of Kit Kats. Yeah. Uh, I also I like Coffee first? Crisp. Yes, Coffee Crisp, which again is Canadian, I think. I don't think I they think get it so. in the States. No. Coffee Crisps are awesome. Tastes like coffee and it's wafers and chocolate. Coffee and wafers chocolate. covered in chocolate. Like just, you, get, mm. you get an audio CD with oh, it, wow, with the soundtrack. So um, you get a manual, big manual. <laughs> you get uh, a little plane you can put together, your little ship. Cute. Very cute. That's, that's a cool thing. That is cute. Uh, you get a sticker. And you get uh, the game on cartridge. Mm. I I like buying games on cartridge rather than discs because the discs go bad. Uh, possibly. So, looking forward to playing that one day on the show when we do a C64 day. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe one day. Yeah. Miss Command, they're just little mini pumpkins on the consoles. They're not candies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they kind of probably look like candies from that distance. But yeah, tiny, tiny little tiny fuzzy little, pumpkins. Little pumpkins. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting for what, the cats to realize they're there and run oh, off of them. Oh, Mick Muse bought the digital version of Soul Force. Oh, How yes. is it? It looks amazing mm. from all the videos. Um, so, um, if you are in the Nashville area, um, you should have been over at the Music City Multicon today. Oh. Because Champ Games was there. Oh, very With nice. their Champ Games booth. Yeah. Uh, and so John Champo was there. And he actually uh, needed some help. So you should have been down there <laughs> helping him out. Hand. Yeah. And you would have get a, a free version of Robot War 2684 mm -hmm. because it was just released today at oh, nice. that convention. Is it the convention running through the weekend though? Yes, so, so it's tomorrow and the to next day. It? Still time to get it. Yeah, so he may, you Have know, keep the left. keep the offer. Nice. They're all signed, so you can buy them there from him, and also you get to uh, demo the kicks new new kicks uh, game that we're going to debut on the show on Tuesday. Oh, cool. Okay. Yes, so you get an early you get sneak a, you get preview. A, you get to check it out first. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he's got 25 signed copies of Robot War 2684 that um, John, that um, Al made up for him. And we're going to take a look at uh, those right now. One second. Because um, there's a post in Atari Age forums about that. Here it is. So October 29th through 31st, Music City, Multicon. There's a Robot War box. There's all the games he's bringing. A bunch of copies of each of his games. He's got his own booth. Lots of Robot War. There they are in the plastic. He's 
going to say in the flesh, <laughs> but in the plastic. There's his booth. Uh, how, yeah, six six foot by thirty, eight foot by thirty, big booth. Oh, that's a nice booth. All the way around, and I'm guessing those are stations. Stations maybe? you can play as games on, and or, even or, out there. Wow. Or it could just be those are the chairs around the booth. I doubt there's chairs. No chairs with computers in front oh, of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, it could be yeah. chairs, so you can play games. That's yep. what I and, would think. And yeah. a separate uh, booth. So he says his uh, brother Paul cannot make it, and. Um, his fiance Maureen is feeling sick, so he's running the booth solo. We happen to be in the area, we'd like to volunteer, hook you up with one of those 25 robot war carts. Signed as a way to say thanks. Um, Look at them all. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's Look something there's something about it's cartridges beautiful. and bins that are just so <laughs> pleasing magic. to the eye. Just magic. And just like the the beautiful kind of Yep. It's just it's pure nostalgia. It's the clicking nostalgia. of the carts as you move, as you uh, yes, flick through the them. Click, 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 and the. <laughs> yep. But just something about that is just so it's so even and beautiful. I don't know. Robot War ROM like isn't it. out yet. There's a demo. You can download the demo. Yep. Um, I thought I bought it, but maybe it was just the demo. It's just the demo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, glad you like the Halloween theme. We've yeah. got the the fog rolling in. I like and, the fog. And the the lightning and the thunder as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. Um, I have to say the pumpkin does look good. Yeah, it stands out. It didn't even have a light in it because we looked at it on camera and it's like, oh, it still works really yeah. well. Um, and uh, you can see John Champo's um, uh, entry in the listing there. Nice. Champ Games. So he's uh, working his butt off there right now. Nice. Still in the booth, unless it's uh, shut down for the evening. Um, Fair J. Zoltan, developer of 2600 games such as Abyss of Chernobyl and Plague that we've played on the show, uh, posted a couple hours ago some music that he converted over from uh, Commodore 64 SID to the 2600 TIA, and it turned out quite amazing considering the limitations of the TIA sounds of the chip. So I'm going to play that briefly for you um, because I was blown away at how well it converted over uh, the sound. So this might be destroying your ears, but it's a little um, jarring. I have to it's say, it's a bit jarring. <laughs> I'm but, like, is it supposed to sound like that? But for the TIA, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's converted three voices from TIA. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. O over, uh, uh, three voices from Sid over to two voices of TIA. Oh, three to two. Okay. Yeah. And this is from Commando on the C64. Yeah. I was gonna say you can't see uh, Pixel, oh. but he seems a little perturbed by the sound. His ears are back. He's yeah. like, what is that noise? Yeah, the TIA, yeah. when used uh, well, is still a bit much. <laughs> yeah. But it's very, very good. We'll just skip ahead. TIA voices. <laughs> <laughs> so he converted a bunch of um, different music. Uh, Rob Hubbard's Commando, Garfield, Hyperthrust, International Karate, One Man is Droid, R-Type, and Zoids, and I believe this is Zoids. Oh, 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 where are you going? <laughs> so, I thought I'd show that because it is uh, very, very cool. Um, also, speaking of music, uh, Jet Set Illy just posted a new update today to the audio engine for his Atari 2600 emulator, Gopher 2600, mm -hmm. with a demo of the sound from the Homestar Runner RPG. No kidding. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you the, a short video clip of the emulator running um, the music from that. And you can see all the options there. I've showed this a little bit before on the show. So this is playing the music you can see in the bottom right is the two voices and you can actually see the audio tracker you can see what exactly it's playing which um oh it's tree time oh is it tree time it is oh, my goodness. Where did so, they go? oh you have them over there yeah. <laughs> no it's not tree time for Meryl. you it's treat time for kitties. <laughs> You're not the kitties. Um, so let's do treat time. So that's really, really cool. One second. It's treat 
treat time. It's treat time. Here you go. Not you. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he doesn't like that at all. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get some, don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's One okay. more. One more. I won't okay. throw it on the ground this time. <laughs> yeah, you go. It's not going to work. They can't see. You have to be a little bit closer. <laughs> oh, I have a point again. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, your turn. Now it's the kitty's turn. Mm, that would be cruel, would it not? Yeah, it would, he says. There we go. <laughs> when the, when this is when a giant comes in from a hand, uh, from above. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Kitty. Great time for me, too. In any other context, this would be weird. Great. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um... My bell, yeah, exactly. My bell. <laughs> you can't take my bell, that's my so bell. So Jet said, Illy said, video showing the new audio engine. This is straight implementation from, of Crispy Research and the same as the 6502 TS and Stella. Sounds pretty good, I think. Video also shows um, the new audio tracker window, early stages of development yet, but it's helped me track down the bugs so it can be useful for regular development work too. Thanks to Dirty Harry for pointing me in the right direction for the engine implementation. He got it. Don't throw it so it's close a, to the light. I know. it. it he actually <laughs> knocked it under there. So. Oh, yeah. okay. That's your last one. No, no, I've got more. <laughs> oh, Apparently. goodness. There. No, not oh, for my oh, God. Oh, my God. He's hungry. Bad Let him have a cat. couple more. <laughs> um... So we've got the exclusive Secret World premiere mm. of Mick Crocker, aka Mick Muses, new game. Uh, he it is Halloween themed, and he posted uh, about a week ago uh, a picture of something from the game. It was a it was a pumpkin. So uh, oh, nice. I'm guessing there's going to be pumpkins in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> He's gone. We have to move on. Can't be feeding the cats forever. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that right now. Mm -hmm. um, this build is from today. He actually sent me two updates today. So this is brand new, fresh. If you don't know who Mick Crocker is, Mick Muse, he made Deep Stone Catacomb, mm -hmm. which is a fun, fun uh, dungeon crawling type game. Uh, super fun. Um, so... Let's, I, I don't have anything more to say about it. I don't know anything. <laughs> if you could actually grab the paper from the printer, that's the instructions. All don't right. read it yet. All right. So let's get this going. Switch over. Yes, Mighty Funster says really good game. I agree. It is a fun, fun game. Oh. Yeah, now let's switch this over to the 2600. If you didn't know, this um, this costume does have a tail. <laughs> this does include <laughs> a tail. He has a tail. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it is a complete costume. Okay, so if you could go to today's date mm -hmm. uh, and go down to mystery game. Exciting. Uh, Tell me when to load it. Uh, one second. I think we are good. Go for it. Okay, everyone ready? Here we go. Drum roll. Ooh, big pumpkin. Tober's Nightmare. Ooh. That is a very large pumpkin. That is. So we've got a one flashing. I'm guessing that is the skill level. Um, so, he, and I think he said, oh, those are grayed out. So maybe there is one, only two, one level. Three. So one level right now. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, the lights are coming from below now. It's like going right <laughs> through the paper. 
Um, so this is Tober's Nightmare, uh, version 0 0.2. Nice. Uh, thanks for giving my little game Tober's Nightmare a shot. This is a very early uh, alpha release, so some things need to be ironed out a bit. Starting this, started this one on September 8th. I was working on a platformer for the Atari when I thought it might be fun to create a Halloween game since it was coming up and is clearly the greatest of holidays. Mm -hmm. So I put the platformer aside and focused all my attention on this. Oh, so it's not a platformer. I was like getting really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I started make, so making something that would be quick, so I thought a classic single screen game would probably be doable. So let's uh, let's just jump into it and oh oh look at that guy. <gasps> oh, that's guy spooky. in a cloak. Just like moved it. it off the screen. <laughs> oh look at that. So there's some pumpkins you probably need to harvest to get past those guys. Yeah. Can you get there? Oh, yeah, you can. Pick up the pumpkin. <gasps> wow, nice animation. Maybe you have to go off to the left or right. Um, so I'll keep reading. <laughs> oh, look at that pumpkin face. He's scared. What am I doing with the pumpkin? Oh, maybe you have to throw it at them. Oh. That's cool. Splat! You got him. Nice. Okay. Some great artwork going on here. Throw them at the zombies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Captain Classic got it right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Do you have to hit it twice? What? No, you didn't hit him at all. You missed him. No, you no, shot but it too early. How do I? Have to go back home. Oh, <laughs> and the <they> go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That looks oh, gorgeous. Oh, that is awesome. That is gorgeous. Oh, oh, gosh. Wait till he's a little bit away. I know he doesn't. Oh. Oh, you have to lead him away a bit. Um, when I started that, I also knew I wanted yeah. to use a sprite as a weapon instead of a missile like I did in Deep Stone Catacomb. However, I didn't want to have flicker at all. So that shaped the way... Uh, oh the gosh. game was designed a bit. I had to switch sprites around frequently with each other as well. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, there are three game selections to choose from, but in this release there's only the first one available. Uh, that ga The game will force you to choose one. However, left difficulty switch will change the difficulty of the game as long as you change it before the start of the actual game. So we are on B for beginner, slower A for advanced, faster. This version is all about points and will continue forever. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Cutting it too close. No kidding. Well, he, he loops back. He doesn't go back and forth. Like, oh, okay. he'll chase after you, if that makes sense. Right. Uh, in this, I hope to make a game option that is an ending that the player can reach if they wish eventually. Yeah, that one's hard because he's further away, right? Nah. Oh, I'm just, my timing is off Way all too of a early. sudden. Oh my goodness. There we go. Nice. In this game, you play as Tober. Your goal is to get the ghosts and goblins out of your backyard and smashing pumpkins by smashing pumpkins at them. Depending on where the enemy is, when you hit them with the pumpkin will determine how many points they are worth. Oh, they shoot. If the en oh, they're shooting now. Oh, there's <gasps> trees. Ah! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I completely missed him. So you just have... Oh, oh no. And oh. dead. <gasps> oh, you're spinning back home. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. It's so... It's great. The sprite work is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you saw Deep Stone... If anybody out there has seen Deep Stone Catacomb, his sprite work is, is really, really nice and detailed and colorful. Ah. Oh, my God. They can get it while you're picking up the pumpkin. Oh my gosh, how did, how did you... I manage that? <laughs> That's pretty skillful to shoot it between the trees. I mean, if you... Oh my Again. gosh. Again. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. These guys are a bit more predictable, but that's a lot of trees to go through. Ah, why is this so hard to Just get back? Pretend, pretend you're a pumpkin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, your goal is to get the ghosts and goblins out of your backyard by smashing pumpkins at them. Depending on where the enemy is where you hit them with a pumpkin will determine how many points they are worth. If the enemy is up close to the fence, they're worth only 50 points. If they're in the middle, they're worth 150. If they're bar back by the house, they're worth 200. Go now! Um, 
As the game progresses, some of the enemies will move around the backyard more. Hold fire to run. Oh, I haven't got there yet. Thank you, McMuse. Uh, and the developer is in the chat if you want to nice. ask him any questions. Uh, really nice use of the play fields for the fence and, and the little shadows. Oh, wow. Yes, I didn't even notice those beautiful shadows on the fence posts. You can see it's just a little bit darker underneath. Gorgeous. Oh, oh you got him. Ah! Oh, oh, my goodness. This level's hard because there's... Well, did it start off with six trees or four? Four. Okay. So you know you're going to have to... Yeah, the running helps. Thanks, McMuse. <laughs> <laughs> the bullet should come out of different enemies. Yes. And it's, yeah. Yeah, so it's unpredictable. Ah. Go down. <laughs> he, he chases after you. So when there's only one left, they chase. Nice. The explosion is great. Mm. As the game progresses, some of the enemies will move around the backyard more. Mm. If you want to get higher points, then it would be smart to wait until the enemy moves further back before hitting them with the pumpkins. Oh, now they're moving fast. Uh, when you have exhausted all three pumpkins, the gate will open, and you must run back to your house in order for the Phantom Gardener to water the pumpkin patch. He only comes out when Tober is not around. If there's still enemies remaining, you must try to avoid them. If, if there's only one single row of enemies remaining, they will actually attempt to move towards yes, the player. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. So See this guy? It's when it's one Look. row. So you have to move all the way to one side. Oh my gosh. And then out How do I get him out of the way? There get out of the way! There you go. <laughs> Great use of two um, sprites side by side for the watering can mm -hmm. and the phantom gardener. It's gorgeous. Uh... The witches, however, will always attempt to move oh. towards the player. Yeah, no. Oh, oh no flowers! I died. Oh, that's so good. Oh wow, the graphics are oh, just it's astounding. So good. It looks great. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you can continue you to read play, eh? <laughs> from uh, there. Okay. So we're just repeating. The witches, however, will always attempt to move towards the player when the player is in the backyard, no matter oh, how many are left. Eyes of the pumpkin move. I know. When you start the I game. Know. I know. It's great. Uh, you have three hearts and three lives. I would like to add a way to gain more hearts and lives in the future, but for now, this is all you have. Well, you do. I. You were able to pick up a heart. It was floating across the stream. So, oh, okay. so once you uh, opened the gate, you could run towards the heart. So, that was. Um, ah, that's a good addition, I think. Damn it. Yeah. Um, every level in the game has two waves of enemies. You can and will need to run by what holding the down the fire button. Oh, it's, right. Yeah, you have to kind of drag him so to one side and then run back. There oh, that's go. much easier. Yeah. Okay. Um, you pick up a pumpkin by pressing fire when you are beside it. Picking up a pumpkin will also slow down your movement. However, you can run with a pumpkin if you quickly hold down the fire button. While Tober is in the ah, middle of picking it. up a pumpkin. Okay, interesting. Oh, in the middle of it. Yeah, you can run with it. That's smart. Let me know if you find the game too easy or hard. I'm not it's... sure about the game balance yet. I need to spend more time with this one. Also, I'm open to it for any suggestions you may have. I, I actually feel like it starts out really well because you kind of have to figure out what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so far, I mean, those if... those trees are, are challenging but not too challenging. I So far, it's good. I'm sure there's more to come after the trees, so we'll see how far you get. If you look while the pumpkins are on the ground, mm -hmm. they have red eyes. Yeah. It's very nice detail. The watering, everything is beautiful yeah, in this. Oh my is. god. So this is the hard level. This one it starts getting uh, a little uh, more challenging. There you and, go. And you do have to go back to refuel, right? Because uh, there's four trees. There are four trees, so you're going to, yeah, need to do that at least. Sorry, just cleaning my glasses. I cannot see out of them. With the light coming up from the bottom. Yeah, different lighting today. <laughs> Suddenly I can't see out. That water! Water's amazing! Mm. See? Is it possible to hit more than one at a time? Not that I've seen because no. the first one it impacts, the pumpkin shatters, as a pumpkin would. Yep. Um, <laughs> and it gets a score over top of the tree. It looks amazing! Yes! 
Set the difficulty switch to B. Uh, it is. Is it on? Oh, it's hot. Oh. We're on hard. Okay. Are we? Yeah. But uh, we'd have to start over. Yeah. Hard's uh, not too bad. Hard's not too but bad, we'll, actually. We'll, we'll... Ah! Oh my god, you can't, you're not safe at the top. No. No. <gasps> oh no. We might be restarting faster than you think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, mm. what? You shot it diagonally. Oh, I neat. I don't know if that helps or not. <laughs> I love the ghost. Oh, the ghost who is Who grows cute. the pumpkins. It's a gardener That's ghost. That's like the best. That is just awesome. <laughs> I love it. And these, these crazy scary trees too are wonderful. Oh, the graphics are it's so like the, good. Oh my god! Uh, it's mid, mid pick pumpkin. Up. He has, he a, has transparent. a transparent thumb. <laughs> Not a green one. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Oh, so close. No, 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 no! Oh my god. You have to time yourself right. He will go after you. Yeah. There we go. Good job. What's after the trees? Oh, I don't know. Is that two sets of trees? Uh, did I do two? No. Or is that one? Oh. Ooh, ghosties. Oh my, God. Oh my oh goodness. My God. And they shoot. Nice. Yeah, we might want to set it to B so we can see. Oh, what, see more. That's more. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. Tober's Just Nightmare. There. Yes. Feels like an Activision game. Yeah, yes, it no does. flicker whatsoever. Yeah, good Every, job. Yeah, everything's done on horizontal lines. Oh my god. And there's only two things on a line. Run, 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 run. Oh yeah, Mick Muse is going to post it in the forums nice. right after the show, or right after this, maybe. Nice. Two pumpkins, two ghosts. Oh! One pumpkin, two one ghosts. Pumpkin. Oh! oh I accidentally moved. Shot. Oh, oh no! And death. Well, you've you've swapped oh, it. One more. Oh. <laughs> what happened? What? What? Oh! I didn't go back to the house. I died, so I have to. St I had to still go back to the house. Mm -hmm. Love it. Really well done. Yes. Oh, this is a great, a great uh, Halloween game. It is. It really is amazing. Good. And we had not seen it. No. You haven't nope. seen it. This no. Is, it was, it was a you, secret homebrew. Secret homebrew. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Ooh, what's next? More, no, more, more ghosts. Ah, run, run. And it's great that you can't do a level completely on one turn. You have to go refuel, refuel at the house. Oh, they are... Different guys are shooting. Somebody said, oh, you should make different guys shoot. This one, it did. I think it depends... Oh, damn it. I think it um, depends on how many oh, are still alive. No. It changes. But anyway. Okay. Oh, oh, into the ground he goes. Your turn. So we're going to try I'll it on easy? I'll set it to um, you, you easy. You swapped it, right? It, to be already, yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at this, scrolling on and off. Oh, look at that. He follows him with his eyes. Oh. Nice, nice detail. I love it. He looks up and goes up. Yep. Oh, they're really slow. <laughs> Com well. in, com in comparison to hard. Yeah. Although I probably still won't be able to hit them because that's just... Carl G says, I really like the font too. Yeah, very nice spooky font with a slant to it. And um, Oh, yeah. I wanted to try it. I wanted yeah, to try it. It's tough. Uh, I figure if I'm going to do it on, on a level, I'll do it on the easy one. <laughs> Mighty Punster says, I can't wait to try this when you post it, Mick. This is really superb. How big is the ROM size? It is a 32K DPC plus uh, game. So I'm guessing it was made in Batari Basic? Was it? Astounding mm -hmm. for 
made in Batari basic. So you have to do two rounds of each creature. Of each creature, yeah. Yeah. I like these green. Great animation. They've got a little turtly, fleck of red turtly hair. Turtly looking zombies. I like them. Yeah. Yes, Batari basic. Yeah. I, I can't imagine there anybody programming in DPC plus in assembly. That would be very strange, I would think. But you never know. Um, so e the hearts are worth 100 points and gives you health. They are rare. If I broke the game, I blame it on ha ha adding the hearts. Have fun, guys. Because <laughs> it was a last minute uh, update today. Oh, I got one heart at one point. We haven't seen one since. Uh, no. You very didn't, you rare. You didn't get one, so whatever you did, you did something wrong. <laughs> or what, whatever you did, you did it right. That's true. So I think, are they just random, the hearts? Or do you have to do something special to get the hearts? They're super know. rare, like super rare. One out of three games so far. Might be good to make them a bit more often. Like, um... Uh, or make them at certain point levels. When you're down to like one heart left, then increase the per percentage chance of them coming up, or that's the only time they exist. Maybe. Frostbite Crackpots mashup. That's true. It's an inverted Crackpots um, plus a Frostbite where you have to get through things and you have a home at the top. That's very uh, good observation. Oh, I added the hearts at the last minute today, so they're, they're brand new. They're brand new. Yeah. Oh, you have to wipe out the middle row for a chance for oh, getting that. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So that's a bit a bit challenging. <laughs> you have to try that in the next level. Wipe out the middle row? Mm-hmm. There's three rows. Oh, but they're so far the only one. the first level has it. So there's no middle row in this one, so there are no hearts. Ah, go for it. Ah! Oh yeah, that's tough. It's best to pick up a pumpkin just after they've thrown something. Wow. Because then you know it's not going to hit you. Ah. Whoa! Oh, they, yeah. The three pumpkins, that's a single sprite duplicated three times, I am guessing. It would be a wide triplicate. Like the so, DVD symbol on the screen, bouncing from are. corner to corner. Yeah. Not quite the corner. Not quite. Never. Oh, that one was. Oh, God. Was... Well, I still got two chances. Ah, oh, you walked right no. into that one. <laughs> you walked right into it. Sometimes you're looking at the ghost. Debating just putting the source code of credit grill out there and letting somebody else fix it up for the ah. shit. Really oh. splendid night. Oh, it, it seems so close. If not done. Um, come on, you can do it, Splendid Nut, finish up, finish it up. I, I don't even know what's left. I guess There's just no pumpkins. logic. Oh, you have oh, to go home. That happened to me, yeah, last time. That ah. happened to me too. It's like, what is happening? Yeah, that's Because okay. you go home, but you're not, you're you not, didn't go home. You didn't actually go home. Yeah, Chaotic Grill is awesome. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it does look finished. Ooh. I think it's just like logic or game balancing that needs to be done. Because all the levels are there, aren't they? Remember there being like six levels or something? Hi. Whoa, whoa! Move slow too. Three pumpkins for four ghosts. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to go uh, fill up again. Mm -hmm. Get the garden growing. It's smart. it's smart because it forces you to go back and forth and cross, yes. cross the ah, screen like whoa. a frogger. Yeah, yeah, frogger as well. Frogger a bit of frogger. So it's like a combination of all the I best know, all classic the best games. Classic arcade games. <laughs> Way to go, McMuse. Plus some very cute animation. Mm -hmm. Great Ooh. colors. Ooh, witches. Oh, you got Spooky. the witches. Ooh, wide witches. Wide witches. <laughs> they're two pixels wide. I bet they're going to shoot. Ah. Ah, ah, they go after you. Oh, like the... Yeah, they don't care. The witches just go for it. But they're bigger. 
they so they're are. a little bit easier to shoot. We got the middle one. Yet no heart. Oh, there's the heart! Does it go away? Oh, oh no! I can get the heart though. Yeah. Huh. Don't get hit while you do it. There you go. Get up there! <laughs> nice! Yay, a heart! Are they good witches or bad witches? Mm. Uh, bad. <laughs> I'm guessing bad. Uh, Run for it! Nice. Run! Ah, get in there! Yeah, it does keep you moving. Like, you can't stand still because nice. they're constantly shooting at you. Yeah. Grow, grow, grow the pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> Come for you. <laughs> Never get the middle witch. You need one more heart. No, the middle no, witch. No, I can get the middle witch. You don't have to get the middle witch first. Do oh, you? don't, don't you? You just need uh, space oh, in the middle. Oh, okay. Because that's where the heart is. Mm. I will take all the hearts I can get. Okay, so any level with a middle character, yes. you can get a heart. You can get a heart. Yes, very clever to use one color per line, especially the witches. Whoa! Whoa, plants! Audrey's. Is it Audrey? Is that, Audrey? that the name? Audrey the plant? Never seen the play or the oh, movie. It's been a while. I don't even wow. know how to get through this. When they're down, you go down and around them. I think I have to go through them. And there's no chance without getting hurt. I don't know how. Ah! Whoa! Yeah, you had to get through them. Well, it's easy to shoot them because there's there's tons of them no! oh no oh it's okay i've got some lies feed me oh no you just have to get through them again At least Whoa. In the middle. oh you oh, got, got hit got twice hit oh no there's only one pumpkin yeah you're gonna have to, i would shoot the top oh no it's yeah not the easiest with this. You have one heart. Ah! <laughs> These guys are hard. You still have to go home. So go out and in. There you go. <laughs> you don't have to go out. You just have to go in. So make sure you shoot the middle guy. The middle guy on the mm -hmm. top whenever you get this level. Otherwise you're gonna have to... Whoa! 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 You have to go through them. Middle guy. To. Middle guy. Uh. Or, or edge guy. Oh! That worked. Ah! No! Oh, I no. knew it! Oh, oh no! One heart, zero guys left. Yeah. Are the red eyes the pumpkin play field? Hmm. I mean, they. Yeah, I bet they are play field. Because your character can go that low. Yeah, it has to be play field. Oh my gosh, where am I going? Where am I going? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh! sure what he was going to shoot it, it there, um have to Sinks i think get the, the, the running picking up and running with the pumpkin but anyway how'd you do Turn. what's your score oh. four two five oh mm. for tanya cheap shots yes uneasy cheap shots oh he opens his eyes <gasps> one more game me uneasy yes Let's see how far you can get get past the uh, plants the plants venus fly traps yep. thank you arena foot and welcome to the show this looks so easy compared to... <laughs> so, this should give a heart? Possibly. Not should. He said you're, you have a chance to get a heart. Oh. If you clear the middle one out. But I don't need one, so it's possibly part of it. Maybe. I have to ask my knees. <laughs> Bit of randomness. So fun. So fun. Wow, what? wow, wow. Twitch now has ads that shrink the screen during the show? That's Boo. new. That's new. <laughs> new for me too <laughs> yeah wow i didn't know they did that like in the middle of the show wow like it interrupts the show does it not do that if you're a subscriber i bet because that would be annoying right if you couldn't prevent it and you you're trying to listen to something uh. hmm meow Yeah. Bite your neck. Bite my neck. You're bad cats. Bad cats. <laughs> no heart. What are you doing? They love to just. Oh, you can see his tail. It's 
see he's here. Oh, he's following me. I know. I Over like the here. following. Yeah, it makes it just a little bit easier. So it pops up at the bottom and the full screen gets a bit smaller for five to six seconds and goes away. It did it twice already. Wow. wow that's That must be new. Never seen that. That watched, must be I haven't new. seen that. No. On anything I've watched. Maybe the show is just doing so well. <laughs> oh, anti-blocker enabled. So. Ad, ad blocker? Ad blocker. Yeah. yeah, that might be why some people aren't seeing it. Maybe. Difficulty looks like speed of shots. Speed of the enemies, too. Yes. Speed yeah. of the enemies and their speed of the shots. Mm. Um, it's pretty simple and easy. Mm -hmm. So far. Hmm. That is definitely easy. But on hard, it's a good challenge. Like, oh, I like... Yeah, yeah. Hard was a very good hard, challenge. Hard. The first level is not too bad. The zombies, mm -hmm. and then these guys get really this hard. This would be a great level for kids. The beginner. The beginner level, yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. Thank you, Arena Foot, for Yay, subscribing! Oh. oh, an anonymous gifter gave Arena Foot a tier oh, one Oh, so. well, I... Ah, thank you on behalf of uh, Arena on Foot. On the anonymous uh, gifter. Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Anonymous. Yes! Oh, this game reminds me of Dalgonic Dug a bit, too. Yeah, with the running across from uh, one part, side yes. of the screen to the other. From the top to the bottom. I feel like there's a lot of, uh... No! I had to go up anyway. Shoot it! No! 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 <laughs> and getting hit by like um like a dog. Yes, uh, and yeah. then it then it's setting you back. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Oh ah. no! I died! I died! Maybe that does that for non-subscribers. Mm. Has any sub have any subscribers seen that? Oh my god! Oh, oh my we... god! They go We've right down to the watch shows that we haven't subscribed to, and I don't remember yeah. seeing that. Usually, no. you just get the ad at the beginning. Oh, uh, but we did watch it on a tablet, so we may not be able to do that on a TV when cr with, oh, Chromecast. with Chromecast. That's yeah. true. Because it does behave differently yeah. with Chromecast. Because yeah, because subs subs yeah, if you're a subscriber, you still get ads usually. I don't think it removes the ads, does it? Things we should know, but we don't. Eh, I just use Twitch. I'm not like a <laughs> Twitch aficionado. I don't follow them on Twitter or anything. <laughs> well, that's a good question. When designing, do you start with gameplay first or theme? Theme, yeah. Um, I would think a bit of both. Oh. Ah! No, no, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Run, run. Okay, pick up the pumpkin. Run. Beginner does start ramping up when you get mm -hmm. things that are moving around like this. It's the random movement. And, yeah. and when they start chasing you, like the witches automatically chase you. Yes. Those are definitely more challenging because they will go for, go after you. They'll turn around and go after you. No! Uh, make me use. I started with an idea. This one, I just wanted to use a sprite as a weapon instead of the missile. So that was. And a, that's where it began. So it was more of a function thing rather than the yeah. idea. I love how the pumpkins get really, really concerned when you pick them up. <laughs> they go, oh, like, no, we're gonna die! <laughs> no, don't throw us! <laughs> yes, with the hair, Tober looks like it could be James. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh my God, that was you have a, you, There's like a hair's breath you can run across the top of the, the screen. Right? Yeah. I need health. Turn into a... Oh, I don't need health. I just died. Okay. Ah! Oh, sadness. Much sadness. Yeah. RC70, I've never seen an ad on ZPH when subscribed, but I'm not subscribed to Rocket League, and I see ads there all the time. Okay, so must get rid of one sub subscription, which kind of makes I've sense. I've been subscribed and watched watched it at work, like on my on my phone a couple of times, yeah. and I'll see ads at the beginning when I first start. Well, that's at is the that beginning. different? It might be different. Yeah, because interrupting it is is pretty disruptive, and there there would you'd think there'd be a way of not having it. Hmm. Okay, pick up that one. Throw it. No! Nice oh my god, it bounces! Bounce. 
interesting. No, no. Give me a heart. I got the middle witch. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe that was the middle witch. Watch out, watch out. Run after they shoot. No! <gasps> run, run, run. Back to safety. Wait, yeah, no. wait. Run, run. Run! <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. They don't go after you. Uh, I was stuck against a pumpkin. They they move around freely until you come out of your house mm -hmm. and out of the pumpkin patch. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. It's like when you're on the field. Yeah. That's when they start going after you. Oh, finally. Is that my second witches? Yeah. McMew says, yeah, it, you can shoot on an angle and it will ricochet off the side of the screen, which nice. we just saw, which is very, very cool. These guys oh, are... Oh, mm, my God. Like, you can't... You have to go through them. You have to kind of follow them, I think. They're hard. Oh, that was challenging. I'm going to get the middle guys. If I yeah. Can. Um, you're wise at targeting one from each level because... Yep. Yeah. Because then that gives you time to... Oh, no. <sighs> nice. Nice. I was nice. very close. Yeah. Very close. Yeah, this level is hard because there's three across the screen. Oh god. Why is the entrance there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no! Oh no! Uh, oh, is that the end? Yeah, but I wouldn't oh. have passed two levels of those guys. I I made it through almost the first one. I think that's yeah. as far as I got. I'm I think I got a touch further than you did, but yeah. same score actually. Did I get the same score? <laughs> is that the exact same score? Nope. Well, you know what? It is the exact same score because Did we kill you the get same you get the same points, and it displays the same number yeah. of characters. Yeah, there wow. go. Same score. Yep. Fair enough. So there you go. Thank um, you. Amazing. Thank Another you. incredible game from McMuse. Mm -hmm. um, and this is point uh, point two beta. I mean. It works perfectly. <laughs> um, the challenge level is about right. You want it ramping up to difficulty around that kind of minute mark that you got you get to. Um, hard is hard. Yeah. So if you find that too easy, you won't find hard too easy. That's for sure. Yeah. The points aren't always the same. It depends where the enemy is on the screen uh, when you hit it. When you oh, hit the it. ones that move up because and down. Because I thought I, I had fewer of those green guys left on the screen. Right. I think I only had one or two. So I think I did actually kill more of them, but you obviously got a higher hit score. Hit them when they're further up. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Can you add another pumpkin on the bottom? Uh, <laughs> no, because you can't yeah. add a fourth thing because there's only triplicates on the 2600. Oh. You could have it replace. You know, another one pops up. I kind of like the three at a time because yeah, it, it, you have it makes to go the back. level harder, right? Yeah. It forces you back and forth. I think that's actually really ingenious. So It is, yeah. Did the cats dress up as James and Tanya? Uh, we tried to put Pixel in a blonde wig, but he wouldn't He wouldn't go for it. little bow ties. Yeah. Them. <laughs> we don't wear bow ties. No. I was trying to... I was at little, little gold glasses frames on Atari would have been oh. pretty cute too. Again, they I don't think... would remove them immediately. I don't think he would put up with it. But. No. I'll try next time. <laughs> so, uh, incredible, incredible game. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So, awesome, McMuse. So, you can find that game in the Atari Age forums shortly. He'll be posting it uh, very soon. I'm going to undo this button. <laughs> Go ahead. Just, a little tight. Yeah. A little tight when sitting down like this. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Uh, thank you, McMuse. That was yes, a lot thank of you. fun to play. I think you made a really one, a really great game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to yeah. be in future Halloween uh, oh, compilations as well. Definitely. Because that's a really playing that next game year play. again, yeah. probably. <laughs> okay, we're going to be playing uh, Last Stand Halloween mm. um, by Steve Fulton, uh, Fulton Bot. Uh, this is from last year. Unfortunately, he released it the day after Halloween. <laughs> oh, so last year. Okay. We weren't able to play it. Okay. 
on Halloween last year. Fair enough. So we're going to play it uh, this Halloween. So it's a 7800 game. Uh, it got released on November 1st, and this build is from November 2nd. It's 128K. Um, so let me load it up. Uh, he also made um, Into the Void, Iron Grip, Destroyer of Worlds, Last Stand, Last Stand Halloween, which is what we're playing. Oh, just Last Stand Halloween, Number Crusher, and Santa vs. the Nightmares. And uh, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. He said, dis so you, all you do is you're in the center. Okay. Pumpkins are all around. It's like asteroids. Except okay. you can't move. You're in the center and defending your, your, your okay. base. Okay. I'm and there's these pumpkins yeah. smashing into your base. Okay, okay. Uh, the controls are rotate left or rotate clockwise or rotate oh. counterclockwise. Yeah. Uh, it's not as bad as you think. No, I'm just not good at these games. And then just button, yeah. for, button for fire. Button for fire. And the big pumpkins split into small pumpkins. Okay. Said, uh, decided to make, and there's auto fire if you want to hold it down. Decided to make a Halloween fee a Halloween demo yesterday, result in the beginning of a reverse Star Castle game named Last Stand Halloween. Uh, just the basics done so far. A nice little break from Number Crusher, uh, but I need to get back to it now. Uh, last version of this before I return to Number Crusher added the small jack o' lanterns that are created when you shoot the large ones. Limited shots and enemies to control slowdown, optimized some but not all of the collision detection. Oh, you're missing most of your. Hey, hey, face. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I told you I'm not good at this game. <laughs> These games. <laughs> Halloween ah, asteroids. Ah, 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 <laughs> there's so many pumpkins. Pretty much Halloween oh, asteroids. No. Oh, oh, so no. close. So oh, many so little ones. Close. How do I deal? <laughs> I love these games where you're just overwhelmed. <laughs> panic time. It is panic time. The little ones are so cute. They are cute. They have like a straight face. Not happy or sad. They're neutral. Whoa, close. Oh. oh. 1070. All right. Very asteroids. <laughs> Needs a spinner. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Or, um, or using a driving controller. Hmm. Hmm? So 1070 for Tanya. Thank you, Arena Foot. That's funny. It's, you get overwhelmed fast. You do. Oh god. They're already yeah. smashing into me. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's because you can't rotate very fast. No, yeah, you're not you you yeah, that's true. You have to anticipate and get them far off. Punkstroids, yeah. Punkstroids. <laughs> I like that. That's a good name. <laughs> Punkinstroids. Punkin. Pump, pun, punkin. Punkinstroids. Punkinstroids. Oh my god. Yes, goodness. driving controller would be cool. Yeah, that would be the probably the best because that spins around freely oh. all the way around. Bye, D Train. Thanks for Bye, joining. Bye, D Train. Have a good evening. Have a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Kicked my ass. Looks like rip off without the ship movement. Rip off asteroids mashup. It stops firing for a second. Every once in a while. Oh my god. Oh, probably because my base gets got destroyed. It's like punishing me for. But I'm just gonna press it. Yeah, I think it when it slams into your base, your uh, the button stops working momentarily. You have to press it again. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I love the little pumpkins too. <laughs> They're, really cute. They're super cute. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, the explosions are cool. I like the sounds too. Yeah, well. great sounds. Explody sounds. A lot of exploding pumpkins today. <laughs> well, the pumpkins are uh, identifiable. Yeah. Halloween things. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Have a good evening, uh, Miss Command. Twelve ninety. Mm. Did I beat you? 
I don't know. I can't uh, remember. I think so. I was 10 10.70? Something, I think, yeah. Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing yep. Pumpkins. A lot of Smashing Pumpkins so far. Very much so. Want one more? Sure. Okay. And it looks like each of your shields can withstand three bit. hits or two hits and then, no, oh, three hits. It looks like three stages of destruction can happen. So you can download this in the Atari forms. I feel it's for like the 7800. Some, some, oh, you have to almost like hit the button. Every once in a while the button yes. stops shooting. Yeah, that is an issue. For no reason. Yeah. Like, I, it, not like even when they crash it. into it. Yeah, it's, it's almost like... After a certain number of shots, it, it yes. stops. Ah, oh. that wasn't so good. Uh, no, it's so much <sighs> trouble to bake yeah. pumpkin seeds. We have done it before. Yeah, it's just so much yeah. work. You have to mm -hmm. get the goop off of them. <laughs> no, just buy them. Yeah, it is nice. And then it's good for kids to keep them busy. Yeah, like, and then here, and then you have to kind of seeds. kind of crack the seed open. Because you can't eat the outer hull. Well, you can, but it's can. kind of hard it's, to eat. I usually like cracking them. It's very woody. Yeah, it's very woody. <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. So his uh, pumpkin seeds went in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> to start growing in a landfill not, somewhere. Not, not, garbage. not the garbage. Not the, the garbage. Um, <laughs> the, the compost. compost yes. So they definitely will be growing somewhere. Do uh, no, I am done. You're good. Yep. That was awesome. Yep. Yeah. Very fun Halloween game. Uh, next game we're going to be playing is Dead Works. And I believe... Nope, still joystick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let's switch back. So you don't see all the... Mm. Switching. Okay. Good game. Other one? Ah, uh, yes, the other one, 2600. Mm -hmm. So, boom, boom, boom. Dead works, you said? Dead works. All right. So, this is a hack. Ah! My ears! This is a hack of Cakewalk. And um, maybe I will play it first just to show you how Cakewalk works. Um, this was posted October 31st, 2020. So that's why we didn't play it last year. <laughs> um, uh, but he, uh, um, Pete uh, Stereotis, uh, sent me an updated version of this a couple days ago. Uh, con contacted me on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a fixed version. I'm not sure what the fix was, um, but it's a, a fixed version. And it's a 4K game, and uh, he's known as Otis P. Driftwood uh, on the nice. on Facebook. Okay. Uh, he's from uh, so. Let's see. Yeah, so let's play it. Very nice uh, title screen. Mm -hmm. It's from Repentless Video Games. Nice. He sells video games. I think on Etsy mostly. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. Um, so this is uh not couch compliant. <laughs> so oh i know this, one, this game so you have to stop ah oh, no if you press the button you stop the conveyor oh, belt are we on easy mode yes so all the sprites have been changed into uh into familiar things i think that might be bad I, some of these are bad but yeah. i'm not well, sure that which was ones poison was it? Was it bad? I think it looked probably... like it acted like a normal cake. I don't know. I'm not which not sure. Oh, maybe it's the ghosts. No, nope. nope, the ghosts. All oh, your score is going up. Everything's good. Yeah, just watch the yeah. score. And I'm sure pumpkins are good too, right? Yeah, that. But I think that the skull and crossbones probably. Yeah, are that's probably the, the bad one. Oh god. Oh, hurry up, hurry up! Cakewalk's a really good game. Mm. You. Come on, hurry up, hurry up! Oh God! Ah. Smoosh. <laughs> I love how the Pac-Man at the bottom. Yum yum yum. What's the What's the name of the pumpkin on the couch? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Hannibal would be a very appropriate no, name. No, it just fell down. What did? Oh. 
Oh, extra life. Good. Uh, yeah, I can do this one and this one. Oh, I can do it. Yeah. I might have to. Nice. Nope. Oh, still good. Pumpkins are smiley and happy. Yeah, I'm gonna say the crossbones. I think Skull that's that's poison. I'm gonna yeah. guess. Would that kill you, or would it just reduce your score? You're supposed to just avoid it, right? So it didn't. So you let it didn't it kill me. I'm gonna have to stop. Pause that one. That's gonna be a problem still. Yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, here comes. Oh no, that. It's probably that. Yeah. that oh, no, it's gonna that. fall. Nope, that's the thing I'm not supposed to get. Okay. Oh, that's right. The cro skull and crossbones. Oh, now it's pain. Now it's time for pain. Oh. Vitoko, someone did comment that it the, ah. the pumpkin does look like Duke Nukem. <laughs> yeah, so we'll call him Duke. <laughs> Which, Duke, I think is a pretty good... Uh, I should have gotten the longer gourd that I had. That would have been pretty good. Uh, uh, this is hard now. Just made it. Uh, so close. Uh, we're gonna pause you. I should have paused you earlier, but oh, what's that, dude? RC seventy. Am I correct in remembering there's a color issue with the seventy? The pumpkins look pretty red. I don't think they're. They don't look so red. Well, this is a twenty six hundred right now. It, it is the twenty six hundred. Yeah. yeah. So. No, I think it's it's they're they're it's pretty good they're orange. They're not too bad. The little guy is red, and the pumpkins are orange in comparison. Uh, let's see when the pumpkin comes up. He is definitely like a a dark, a, an orangey red. Mm. No, uh, huh? I mean the pumpkins are a little bit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, there's a billion things coming at me. I haven't played Cakewalk very much. <laughs> I played it only a tiny bit. Here's our little monster. Oh, Roar! oh my God! It just keeps Roar! coming. I forgot. Does he look like anyone? Hmm? Me? Meow. Mm -hmm. Meow. Oh, it times out. Oh, there we go. Hi. Can I touch your pixel? Oh, forbidden pixel. <laughs> okay, your turn. Actually, I couldn't see his pixel. Derp. Yeah. Derp. <laughs> Are you cute? Want to sit in my lap? There we go. No, 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 three. Oh, you're mad. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. I haven't played it very much. Where's your pixel? Mm, I don't have one, sadly. <laughs> no pixel. I wasn't going to sacrifice a t-shirt. No. I guess I could have cut something out and stuck it on. <laughs> um, don't think I have anything black. That I can cut out. Let's see. Nope, no, it's not tree time. Nope, nope, it's not. I will make one. Because two people asked about the pixel. No, don't, no. Oh, okay. As long as you're not. Oh, no, I no. no you're no, putting no. it on your shirt there for a second. I'm like, don't. Do no, no, no. Nothing a Sharpie can't take care of. <laughs> uh, Pixel is the black and white kitty. And on his stomach, he has a black pixel. Isolated all by itself. And it's in a very special spot that only special people can get to see. <laughs> and nobody gets to touch. Fair enough. Except me, just then. <laughs> there. There's my pixel. <laughs> it's on his stomach. His lower stomach. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, this game gets 
challenging <laughs> after a while when they start just mm -hmm. booting it down there. You could, I think you can unfreeze it by you picking can't. a different one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can. Can you? Oh, Try. by freezing another one, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Freeze one. Oh, that's the bad thing. I don't want that thing right? Nope. And the robots will go fast and slow. Oh, they go backwards a little bit. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're not even obeying. Oh. Yeah, there's two things coming at the top and the bottom. And I can't touch that thing either? Nope. Oh, that was not good. Freeze it. Ah! Oh. No, I wasn't. I was. Freeze the bottom. Yep. There you go. Oh. oh no so many at once yeah reminds me of tapper yeah it's got shades of tapper because of all the different rows of things coming like they would be all like oh just tapper has one e even one more element to it but it has less bars mm -hmm. um happening yeah i'm dead so it's like tons of glasses and tapper coming at you nice. Very cool. That's a fun game. We have a lot of games to get through, okay. so we're just going to be moving, moving, moving. That's a very, very good um, mm. hack for Halloween. Uh, the next one is uh, Halloween 2. A, this is a uh, by Tim Martin. Mm. And I'm going to let you guess what it's a hack of. You'll figure it out almost immediately. But... Um, I, I missed uh, RC70's comment about your say? pixel and you just need to spill some of my drink on your shirt. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't do that. No, I, 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 I'm not spilling my rum and coke. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so this is by Tim Martin, known mm -hmm. as Salem Frost 7800. It was fo first posted a long time ago. Uh, January 3rd, 2006. This version is number two. Halloween 2. Halloween 2. Oh, second. Uh, this is build, build is from September 16th, 2006. Mm. And it's a 4K game. Uh, he's done lots of hacks. Halloween 2, more of the game where he came home. Oh, you can get skulls. I can get skulls? Yeah. I'm creating a Halloween 2 game. I didn't simply want to hack Halloween.bin or chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw.bin, so I went for a different direction with this one. That's awesome. I don't want to give away too much or yet, or give away the game this I'm so hacking. Great. But the goal of the game is you're Dr. Loomis and you're chasing Michael Myers <laughs> through the Haddonfield <laughs> Memorial Hospital, which is such a great concept. Yeah, you can get the skulls, but not the pumpkins. Okay, skulls. I believe. That is so fun. Yep, Keystone Capers. It's so Mick awesome. McNew's got it. Yep. Jump on him. Oh, when he gets to the end of the level, he automatically boot, boots up to the top, unfortunately. Mm. Nice. Good job. Nope, always this way. Always this way. And you can take the elevator if it's at the right I've Never, I've, yeah, because. Uh, things in people's heads. <laughs> Uh, it's at the top. Don't oh, I see. Oh, I see if it's on your floor. Gotcha. Yeah. The but last you, version of this game I played, you, there was... You You keep saying that, but I'm scared to. <laughs> Is it like gold? It's points. You don't have to. It's good practice it's like to jump, I guess. Severed heads? Bleeding severed out? Severed heads, yeah. With an axe in them or a knife in them. You have to get Michael Myers before he... Uh, Escapes, escapes yeah. out the top right. I love this the, the knife in his hand too. Ah, uh, oh, you lose time. Oh. You should still. The heads used to be radios, yes, because they're animated, so that makes sense. Because uh, the radios would go blip 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 blip. Yeah, he does skip to the top level. Yeah, it's it's because of the lack of sprites. Yeah. Good job. Oh, I guess those are hospital gurneys. That would make sense. Yeah. That seems rational. 
<laughs> yep. In the context of things happening here. I want to see what the planes are. So I just barely turned this game on to, to make sure it was cool for the show. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I, I got up to that. And then I just like, okay, it's, it's good. And, um... Oh, I could have gotten It might be going down. Because if you get on his level, he turns around. And then he chases you? No, he just runs away. And then he goes start going starts going down. So if you mistime it, you'll have to go back on the elevator and go down because those escalators only go up. Mm. Jump, jump on him. Oh, I always jump on him. I know. That's the thing to do. <laughs> go, go, go. Make me said, now this is a cool Halloween hack. To definitely play this. Yes, this is very creative. What is that? A needle. Oh, it's a needle. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize there would be like two. Ah, oh. the timing. Yep. Not. Oh, oh. sorry. Get... That threw me off. <laughs> Lots of things flying through the air threw now. Threw me off. And always jump on those. You save like a second. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Duck. Oh, oh, you ran out of time. This game is making me feel tired, Mike Soul says. Oh, God, I got up too fast. Damn it. <laughs> you fainted? Got up too fast? <laughs> I got hit by a the needle flying kills syringe. You. Yeah, the needle kills you, just like the planes in the original game. So it's always good to make sure. Jump. Oh. Uh, Gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Yike! Flying hypos and sticks you in the eye. Oh yeah, That's it's horrible. right. It's the exact right level to get you in the eye. That's not good for the eye. Nope. No. It's pretty awful. You can do it. You got lots of time left only a couple screens ahead of you great thing about the 2600 version is that if you're on the same screen as him the bad stuff is gone because it doesn't have enough sprites to draw everything <laughs> there you go 19 seconds good bonus oh it's a duck oh it's a duck duck, duck. You can jump over it theoretically. I've never done it, but because the timing is a Kittens. lot more difficult. <laughs> He's adding adding complexity to this game right That's now. That's right. He's like, you're doing too good. It's, <laughs> it's too easy for you. Those I find easy to jump over because they're moving towards you, yeah. so you get tons of time. It's actually the things that aren't moving. There's the harder ones. It gets really tough and annoying when there's fast hypodermic needles. Because <laughs> and and ooh, just barely. I think those pumpkins are just slightly smaller than the original things. Maybe not. They're just bouncy balls. Mm. Yay! Oh, and you kind of did it. Remember this guy from a couple of Halloweens ago? Oh, yeah! I think this was two Halloweens ago. We played the Pumpkin Muncher game. And he sent us this dinosaur. Yeah, I remember that. And he still sits there. I turned on the sign today, too. Yeah, did you I thought you were going to have the sign on at the beginning of the show. Yeah, it's on. It's been on the whole time. Has it? It's flashing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's not very. Oh, it is. Because it's a little bit it's darker. It's not very. Yeah. It's darker today, so you can see it. Oh. I don't know if anybody uh, you can see it on the screen. It. Yeah. But it does. It does flash. I checked it out. Oh. Probably not on the small view, but keep going. No, you're not gonna make it. No. Not enough time. Hit too many things. Eleven seconds. Ten. Or oh, no. oh no. I can just do that. Last life. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. It's like, is this infinite lives? It's very <laughs> Uh you oh you didn't quite gain a life. I think it's at ten thousand. Don't like those flying hyperdermic 
hypodermic needles. No, they're the worst. They I'll actually talk kill you. about like terrifying. <laughs> flying, independently flying hypodermic needles. Yeah. The ZPH sign uh, does cause buzzing, but not in the audio. It's just in our ears. In our ears, yeah. But uh, today I'm putting up with it because it's a special day. Oh, God, oh. I did it this again. It is very close to the beginning of a level, so it's hard to avoid. You can still get them. Mm. Don't get hit by anything, though. There's another double one somewhere. Whoa. Whoa. You can do it. I believe in you. Mm. You can still do it. Oh, don't hit those. Jump on it. Yeah, you'll get them. I think James isolated that buzzing to one of his camera power bricks. Uh, mine does it on the Sony and I have to use my wireless mic if I have to plug into the camera. Yeah, we fixed some of the video issues by... Oh my god, that's fast. <laughs> by plugging the camera into a different... Um, a different uh, fuse? A different... What is that called? When it's in the house. And it's a different circuit. The camera is now plugged constantly into a different circuit, so we don't get the video interference anymore. Oh. Um, which also helps with... Oh, oh. oh, no, you're done. You almost got an extra life if you hit a skull. Really? Yeah, you might be able to get enough. There's a skull a couple things over, but I don't think you'll make it in time. Two. One. Good job! That was a good run, though! Yeah, 96 That seconds. is fun! Fun, 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 fun. I'm gonna... Yeah, restart. Cheat a little bit. You're cheating. Higher level? Oh, lower level? No, I didn't quite catch it. No. Mm. No. I haven't been getting those skulls. Probably would help me. What are you trying to do? Yes. <laughs> this is how I got my patch. Uh no, no, too early. Too early. No, too early. Do it when it's at the top. It's a continuous running timer. Even if you reset it. The elevator. Is that oh my god, too early. Oh, that's pretty good timing, actually. If you reset it when the elevator's at the top, then you will catch it just as you run by. And which will give you more points, which gives you more so lives. Oh, cheaty. Oh, Look wasn't it? You're right at him. Wow. Good job. And you jump on him. And then Just you jump it's, on him. Because it's fun. <laughs> it wasn't a rage reset. It was... A strategic reset. Strategic reset. Nope. No, it'll come. It's worth it? Yep. Hmm? Oh, 100% worth it. Yep. And you, and you finish the level right about again when the elevator comes again. So, just based on... It's right there. Wow. Yep. It's a smart reset. <laughs> yeah. Smart you need another reset. icon for... Smart reset. Smart reset or strategic uh, reset. Pretty rare occurrence. Only in this game, as far as I can tell. <laughs> See, I've almost got a free life. <laughs> because you get all the points... Mm -hmm. For um, getting them early, and the skulls, and the skulls as well. Mm. This is incredible. Yeah, really smart hack. Because it's got a good story behind it that that kind of makes sense with the uh, with the lore of 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 the movie. I guess you know you're the you're the uh, protagonist mm -hmm. going after the uh, going after Michael Myers in the ins insane zone. Or the hospital. Kim. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jump. Jump. Yeah, I find those needles really terrifying. Of all the things on the screen, it's definitely the needles. <laughs> they are terrifying. Uh, it's a great sub. Yay! It got an extra life, I think. But it doesn't show up because I already have three. 
Oh, we should be able to jump over the gurney standing still. True. Eh, it's more fun jumping. <laughs> jumping over them when they, uh, when you're moving. Just made that one. It's interesting how everything is, uh, when you go up a level on the elevator, everything's moving in the wrong direction. But yes. by the next screen, it flips back. It's where you enter yeah. the level. So if I turned around, they'd be moving the opposite direction. Mm. That does slow me down, then. that bouncing ball. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the elevator in time. Oh, oh no! lost a life. Oh, I didn't get an extra life. You max out at three. Mm. <sighs> I don't like games that do that. <laughs> Infinite lives. Is it bad? Nope. Oh, no. It's at the top. It's all mistimed. That's the end of that run. If it, if it's, if it was going up, wouldn't it have been better to go up two floors? Technically, mm -hmm. it depends on he where the bad around. guy is. Oh, he turns around. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, so it could, it could actually make you worse off. Very worse off. Because then you have to go back down on the elevator. You can't use the escalators. Mm -hmm. It's not a good strategy. Eh, eh, not a good bonus. Yeah, once you start getting up in the levels, the bonus just is diminished by so much. You have to scrape by the points to try and get your patch. But I find that with most Activision patches. You get all the stuff at the beginning, and then you just slowly, slowly make your way up to the proper score. Who's the genius behind this? Uh, mm. Frost something Frost. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you Salem see? Frost, Frost? Frost at the bottom there? Salem, <laughs> Salem Frost. Salem Frost. Where is it? Nope, it's at the top. Right. Fast moving ones are actually easier. Well, once you once you time it, you just go run, run. Like it's a two, two beat and then a jump, right? Like once yeah. one, two. to do that. Oof. Is there a surprise? Because they're right there. Yeah, the two, the two, the severed heads? Yeah. Yep. Agreed, agreed. Severed heads are such... Always getting in your way, tripping over them. <laughs> All the severed heads we have in the house. Yeah, they're everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, so much cleaning. Michael Myers just keeps making more of them. <laughs> One seconds, catch him at the top. Boo! Come here, Stabby. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to jump over it. I think almost, almost there. If I just waited just a second. Oh, now over. those are super fast. Oh yeah, my gosh, that do a lot of slows ducking. you down so much. No! no! Waste of time. See? Oh, oh no! no. The, Causing you trouble. This. The amount of time it's low is so short mm -hmm. that I don't think I can. Damn ankle biters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. I'll bite ya. Do you make a Monty Python reference? Uh, I tried. <laughs> I don't know the exact thing he says when no. he's got all of his arms and legs chopped off. Yeah. Ten seconds. I'm not going to make it. Not gonna make it. Not enough time. I don't even know where he is. He's nowhere near me. Nope. 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 Oh, maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Two. One. Jump on him. Oh, no. Oh, no. So close. Oh. So sad. So, so sad. So close. Can I leave oh, you for a actually, second? I'm going I'm to right wait back. for this guy. Oh, here. yep. Oh, that's not a bad spot. Nope, it is not. Okay. Right oh. Woof. Oh. Can you get me some more water, please? Uh, no, or, okay. Okay. 
think that saved time? Probably did. Probably saved time. This wasn't waiting too long. Oh, it's these airplanes that you have to stop for. The bouncing balls and the airplanes. Yeah, it's not too bad. Caught him on the second screen at the top. Ooh, maybe third. Nope, second. Nice. Get a fr Oh, God. I wasn't looking. Looking at the chat. That's what I get. I think this might be where it's going to start getting a little spicy. Oh, it's coming down. I think I'll wait for it. No, it's going up. Wasting my time. Oh, God. I did it again. It's those double bouncing pumpkins. Brutal. I do not like those double bouncing pumpkins. Uh, I was thinking about taking the elevator. Take too long to go all the way down back up. Oh no, I'm out of time. Well, not gonna make it this time. Have to do it again and not hit. It's because I hit two pumpkins. How's That's it going? why. Bad. Bad. Oh, I oh, did it again. Oh, pumpkin. I was gonna run out of time anyway. Oh, 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 terrible. You can't duck those, so you have to do that. And that's the first opportunity that you have. Is there a timing you can do, like? Uh, jump, jump, I like. I don't think so. With one, one. Is that going down or up? One beast. Please go down. Please give me something. <gasps> I'll still get them, but as long as I don't hurt myself in the oh, pumpkins. He's already on the third floor. Wow. Oh, there's some pumpkins there. Third. Well, yeah, I guess third. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll still do that. I'll get them. I'll get them in a yeah, you're things. close. You're close. Um, get it. As it's not catch up to him when I don't have to do the pumpkins. Yes! He's clearing the screens for me. <laughs> yeah! Good job. See? Wait. Can't duck. Yeah, that's... Oh! Oh, triple severed heads. There's so many severed heads. Is this going to be nice to me? No, it's going up, isn't it? Yep. Oh! Oh! Get him now. What's happening? Stuff happening? No, I just hear Spam? people. Spam? <laughs> Kick him. Ban hammer. Ban hammer. Get him out. Pumpkin ale. Oh, people are talking about you. Uh oh. What is Friday? Yay, it's Friday. I'm a pumpkin myself. Wow. Somebody carved a pumpkin? No, no. He brewed a pumpkin beer. Oh. Oceanix. Very oh. oh, I'm not gonna make it. No. Oh, rough. Last life. Oh my God. Oh, woof. I'm definitely, I'm not gonna make it. Mm. Doing stupid things. Those little pumpkins are horrible, though. They're really brutal. I'm just gonna wait for this. I don't care. It's very fast-moving elevator, so you don't have to wait too long. Yeah, that saved time. Can you go up to the third? No, you can't control it. It's no. on, uh, what is it? <laughs> Where it automatically goes? Mm. It's on Saturday. It's uh, on um, the Sabbath. The uh, Sabbath settings? The Sabbath settings, yeah. <laughs> It literally is. Yeah. It's on Sabbath settings. Almost got an extra life. Mm. No! Oh, I might be able I still will get him, but I won't get much bonus. I'll still get him. Yeah, he's cleared the screen for me. Terrible bonus, but and I've almost got an extra life. There must spell. be a better way of dealing with oh, those guys. Oh no! Those guys are so Oh, twenty-nine nine. I need one more skull because I won't be able to complete this level. For sure. I'm waiting. Slow carts. Slow carts are worse oh, than careful. fast carts. Mm. Oh, once you're in the elevator. Brutal. Oh, there's a lot of pumpkins. Oh, oh no. that's it. 29.9. Good job. Can't remember what uh, the patch is. 
45, 35. Mm. Something much more than that. More than that, yeah. Yeah. Very good hack. Mm -hmm. Very good hack. Very nice hack. I think the next one requires paddles. Yes. Paddles. Oh, very next spooky. Next two games very spooky. require paddles. It, I think a game is spookier when there are paddles. <laughs> spooky paddle. It either involves, like, spiders or oh, things falling, falling from the sky. Yeah. Oh, we've That's got a true. cat. So someone was telling me today, and I don't know if this is true, but I want to look it up, that Saturday evening, past between 2 and 5 uh, a.m., we're supposed to be able to see the Aurora Borealis. Oh, that is true. Yes. So I, I feel like I want to stay up really late on Saturday night and see, mm. at least till 2. I can do till 2, not till 5. But um, yeah, It depends how cloudy it is. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, like today. So I'm, oh. I'm kind of excited by that. I don't think I've ever really seen the Aurora Borealis I up here. I have once, and yeah? I took photos. Uh, it was just barely there if you stared at it. Yeah. Well, and and uh, it was very, you were very, very deliberate about looking at it because it was so faint. Yeah, it would be faint here. It's very hard to see it here well, in BC where we are. We're also in the are. city, and so you've got a lot of the 49th light parallel. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Halloween 3. This is a Kaboom hack. Mm. Uh, so good luck to us. It's by Scott Dayton. Um, and also uh, by uh, Salem Frost. Oh, again? Who, who, Someone uh, is a Halloween they, fan. <laughs> they collaborated on this yeah. one. Uh, this is Bill, This is the 2018 build of it. It's a 4K game. Uh, Scott Dayton, Neo Tokyo 2001 has done tons of hacks. Mm -hmm. So I will get this going for you. Uh, so you have to figure out which one it is. So start moving one of them. There you go. There it, is. All right. it doesn't start till you press the button. Quality of life has increased knowing that Halloween 2 on Atari exists. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, I have, he said, I have an extra Halloween 3 box in manual, but no cartridge. The box says it's 3 out of 15. So there was uh, 15 of these games put on cartridge. Um, uh, it was released years ago by Salem Frost on the cartridge, and um, and this was a Scott uh, Dayton and Tim Martin collaborated and originally released on cartridge in 2006. A limited run of 15 of them, and then it was then he found some, and it was re-released in 2018. So this is different in the fact that each level has a different thing he's dropping. I know it's cute. It's very cute. Which is cute. quite a quite a uh, smart little smart hack, because in the original it's just bombs yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of programming went on there, not just a straight up uh, substitution for one thing and another. Oh. It's a hard game. It's a hard, hard game. I never been my best game so. what if you take the elevator up make him turn around then take it back down make him turn around again then by the time you get to the third again he's right by the elevator door yeah you can do that rc70 you can totally do that if you time it up correctly ah. because you run much faster than him it's like twice the speed oh i still have to reset this oh <laughs> even though it starts with the button you have to find where the center is. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit easier because the, the size of the TVs are massive. Massive. Yeah. They're even bigger than the original. Yes, I think they are. The Which original is nice. game. It is nice. Yeah. There's a cute pixel cat settling between the lamps. And the are you able to see him in the cat cam? Yeah. He's all kind of hunched over. People who are good at this game are amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. It is. It is not easy. I mean, they must have like a perfectly oh, tuned paddle it. too. Not like even close to a perfect. thousand. Oh yeah. Too. little jittery, mm. but it's not bad. Mm. 
Yay, I got my thing back. Oh, that was the wrong time to have it go away. You're supposed to do that just before a thousand. Even though I'm terrible, so it doesn't matter too much. 1498. The patch is 3,000. If oh, I can't, I can't even you do imagine. do one more and I'll do one more. I can't even imagine. But guess what? That's the next patch we're going for. Is it? Yep. Patch, try number two. I'm going to oil up the uh, paddles. Oil up and the paddles. <laughs> oil them up. Get them ready. Oil them up good. Yep. It might be on Tuesday, depending on the mood. On next Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was way too early. That was terrible. RC70 says, sweet, I'm going to play along with that one. Yeah. Yep. It might be on Tuesday uh, when we do the kicks premiere. So we have kicks of 1942, and I think that might be it. Maybe I'll limit it so that we can do an After Dark and do a patch. I don't think I've added a third one. If I haven't added a third, then I may keep it at two, and then definitely won't have time to do it. Oh okay. yeah, I haven't added a third, so Look definitely. The pumpkin for this I hero. know that's so cute. A nice, another little, nice little uh, add-on. Oh, oh, you could have done it, made it to a thousand. Oh, now you're in trouble. Am I dead? Oh no, I thought it was dead. Yep. Oh. Yeah, three. Yum, 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 three TVs. Yum, yum. Terrible. Are I did you going to do on plus card? Oh, that's a good idea. Oh. I yes, should do it on the plus card. Yeah. Have you started working on the 5200? No, my weekend was too full last weekend. This weekend, uh, are we doing any? I don't think we're doing anything. What, next week? No, this weekend. Oh, this weekend. No, uh, we don't actually have Halloween plans. So. No, so I might be able to at least get the power yeah. done on it and get it started. So I just have to let you know. Yes. Pixel. My brother-in-law oh. is getting a new kitten. <gasps> Another one. And it's very cute. You've it's seen it? Yep, yeah, my sister. They already have a fluffy cat. My which sister. Is the most docile cat ever. Uh, this beautiful rag doll. And uh, they're getting another rag doll who is the half brother of the cat they have. What? So I guess from the same breeder or person. Uh, yeah. um, and uh, this fluffy little rag doll cat, same coloring as um, Stormy. Yeah. Yeah. How are they going to tell them apart? I don't know. <laughs> but apparently, I asked mistake. my sister and I said, oh, the kids must really want it. And she said, actually, it was uh, my brother in law for his birthday. It, it was really? what he wanted for his birthday was a kitten. So I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. So. Perfect timing. Yeah. Just before so the I'll, have to, I'll have to pay the cat tax and show some photos. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, when, when I have some nice photos of a little baby. Maine Coon, yes, crossbow. Maine Coons, I think, are beautiful cats. And I had a cat oh. when I was young who I think was just sort of a mixed breed cat from a, a pet store. Oh, almost made it to 2,000. Um, oh. and, and I swear he was a Maine Coon because he was very, very was big run. and fluffy and very intelligent. Yep. Um, or would, like some kind of very similar like crossbreed or crossbred with a Maine Coon. But anyway. Yes. I mean, that was a good Maine score yeah. if the thing wasn't that wide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not quite the same, it's right? Not, it's not quite no. the same. Uh, but that's a fun fun hack because it uh, changes yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, it quite is. A bit. And, and yeah. it may be a little easier because of the, the, the width yeah. of the paddles, too, which is kind of nice. Um, so next one is called Keep Them Out Halloween Edition. Okay. By Vladimir Zuniga. Oh, okay. So this is a game that is pretty recent, and we have played it. Um, but he has changed it to be paddle. Remember the joystick one and you're catching things and there's blocks going through? That one? Yeah, it may not work, but yeah, oh good. No, kind of Keep is. them out. Down one. And now this won't work. Oh. But this. Ah! Something wrong. Yeah. So annoying. Yeah. Friend of ours has Maine Coon. Never seen them before in person. Very majestic. They are just yes. big, beautiful, lovely animals. Big faces. Oh yeah. 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 Maine Coons are cute. But the rag doll is a big, fluffy, uh, just a puff of fluff. Like they're so cute. 
but I just laughed so hard when I found out it was Dave's birthday wish. So. Oh, th thank you. It was Tanya that did the pumpkin carving. Yes. His, his name is Duke. <laughs> We're calling him Duke now. And he's <laughs> chomping on a gourd. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's cute. Come here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm mm. all out of bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I said, actually, I'm, I'm coming here to kick ass and chew gourds, and I'm all, all out, out of, of gourds. gourds. Yeah. He ate his last one. Yeah. So here is Keep Them Out by uh, BHZC. Yeah. This is the paddle version that he just released because people said, you should make this a paddle game. It's pretty easy as a paddle game. <laughs> But it maybe not. I, I've only played it a little bit with a with a mouse, so I haven't actually played on the system. Uh, he said, I made a paddle version and gave it a Halloween theme just because. I think this kind of too easy with paddles, so I think I should tweak the difficulty. As always, testing and feedback will be appreciated. Awesome. So it may start with the button. Yep. Nice. And he's, <laughs> and he's changed it to orange on the bottom instead of a bunch of... Um, Different colors, so it's all orange, one solid orange. It would be good with like different colors of orange, like slightly mm -hmm. alternating colors of orange. So, and he's changed the uh, missiles or bombs to bats, which is cute. Yeah, very cute. Oh, and he's made it more precise, right? And the other one, it's like chunk, 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 mm -hmm. right? And this one, you can be very precise going across. So that makes it a little bit. Oh, they turned them to pumpkins. The big, That's the big super bombs. Super cute. The big bombs turn to pumpkins. No Twitch ads since my son. Okay, well that's very ah. informative. Yeah, a Roddy Roddy Piper pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to put the sunglasses on if you're gonna do that. Oh, they're upstairs. Mm. Oh, the actual sunglasses. I don't know where those are. We did we we did do a, a John Car Carpenter Film Festival a few years ago or yep. movie marathon I guess would be uh, yeah oh and there's All ghosts of, see the ghosts oh of every single John Carpenter film yes They're some not, are stinkers most are stinkers some are not good well they all have some charm to them <laughs> I will have to say I didn't not. Like, All the was, 80s the, ones are very I, good. Yeah, but even even the modern ones that weren't great still had kind of a campiness charm to them. It was it was still a fun film festival. Yep, yep. But they live has to be they live and the thing, right? Yes, the thing is number one. Are prop that just hands down my mm -hmm. favorites. I mean, Halloween's good, but I'm not really a horror person. Mm -hmm. um, Whoa, skull! Oh, Whoa. oh, oh, oh! His oh, favorite the skulls. Misfits. Misfits skull <laughs> made it into the game. Um, I like Halloween, but I just those are my two favorites for sure. Hmm? What does it say? A fan, Frostbow says I'm a pretty big fan of the thing. Me yeah. too. It's just so good. It's just such a good film. It's just, one, it's just a perfect film. Perfect one day film. I will buy the poster of the thing. Um, oh, the like the original? Yeah. Is that the the man and the big blinding light? That no, one. that one. I don't like that one. No, I don't there's, like that one. There's there's um there's another one where it's it's ice and you see the silhouettes of people walking across the ice oh. and a big red thing, thing coming out of the ice and it's is, and it's a long poster. Is it an American poster? Or is it a foreign? Mm, there's a Spanish version of it. And oh yeah. There is an English version as well, I think. Yeah. But it's not from the U.S. It's um, not cheap, unfortunately, <laughs> which is why I haven't bought it can't remember how much it is. It's hundreds in the hundreds for sure. So you're but probably it's seeing, gorgeous. I think the HZC is right. It, it needs something because it's, something it's, else. it's great with the paddle. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun with the paddle. It's yeah. fun with the paddle. It's a lot more precise. I like it a lot. Yep. Do they need to come faster? Or more of them at once, like almost, two at a time or something. I almost wish, uh, I wonder, oh, see, that was terrible. <laughs> ah! See, now it's That was the great. wrong one That's to fine. miss. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the thing Great. is the best example of what can be done with practical effects. Oh! So good. That's exactly the level of practical effects you want, you yep. know? Gross, realistic, yeah. not, like... 
they they weren't even hiding a lot of them. They were in your face. And, yeah. And it was like, whoa, that looks real. Yeah. easy <laughs> wave 16 now maybe they need to come down faster no they come down pretty I fast I almost feel like um staggering staggering the timing of them a little bit would really screw you up or two coming down really quickly at the same time I don't know how easy or hard that is that's easy if they're not on the same line yeah like one two break one oh. see that got through um, something like that would definitely make it more challenging, but drop invisible objects. Uh, yeah, that would, that would definitely be harder. <laughs> the, the thing isn't any on the streaming services, however, HBO suggests the new adventures of old Christine instead. <laughs> They're very similar. Yeah, very similar. A lot we, of correlations between those shows. So when we do the no. movie marathons, we actually make sure we have physical copies of them all, which is kind of nice. So you have yeah. them forever. Because usually I do movie marathons of... Are, uh, directors I like or yes. genres or whatever yeah so we, I don't mind having those films except we, uh, except for John Carpenter I didn't like all of them uh, but but again it's amazing to see an entire like directors oh, you know why they suggested that that show what show uh, the new adventures of old Christine why guess oh is John Carpenter in it, it? no nope. keep guessing can anybody on the chat figure out why they suggested that show is one of the actors in it? Nope. Once you know, it'd be like, oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Um, just think about all the movies that we watched during the marathon. I, I don't know. I'm not making the connection, but you clearly have, so. He directed Christine. Oh, he directed Christine. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so they're like, oh, he did Christine. This is... We don't have Christine, but we have the new, new adventures, adventures of old Christine. Christine. That is hilarious. That's so funny. I was like, what if it suggests that? That's so strange. Yeah. But now it makes sense. Yeah, this is too easy. Oh, there's an episode called The Real Thing. Oh, <laughs> that even it's enforces funny. it even more. So, Crossbow, have you seen the new Dune yet? Yes, we did. We saw it on we Monday. We did see it. We were excited because we went to our local, well, VIP cinema, which is all nice and cushy seats and all that on yeah. a Monday. Our first um, uh, chain cinema we went yeah. back to because we have a local one we go to all the time. Yeah. Christine the movie. Yes, Atari 2600. Did. Yep. Crossbow, did you like it? What were your feels on it? And I, I asked that because we have we have definite opinions about it, actually. We discussed it last show. <laughs> we did. But um, since you didn't hear that, uh, yeah. you can tell us without our opinion leaking into it. Yeah. We did, we did talk about it a little bit on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, or anybody else's opinion that yeah. uh, saw it as well. Because we like talking about movies. Apparently, um, the uh, people who funded the first one are all gung ho about the second one because well, it made a lot of that. money. It definitely needs a sequel. It needs to be complete. Oh yeah, that would be terrible. It would be terrible if they didn't make a sequel. Yeah. Crossbow said, "I liked it quite a bit, to be honest." And oh. And and we didn't dislike it, but we did uh, find it a little bit like the character development to be a little bland. Like the um, lead character was just a. Um, placeholder almost <laughs> yeah he was perfect at everything right away yeah he's like i'm i'm good everything i say is good yeah i'm sorry good at, we won't give away any spoilers or i'm anything, good at fighting but... i can defeat all my enemies uh i only stumbled once in the home film yeah made one mistake yeah and then i quickly corrected it two seconds later yeah so with that that we didn't like but the film itself the visuals yep the style of it everything yep. was gorgeous i thought it was really well done i really liked it i but I found just, the set deck to be very sparse. It was very and sparse. Very boring. Yeah. Like then, like they were on a green screen, but they knew they weren't. Yeah. It's just everything was very distant. Like they weren't interacting with ever, anything. Like everybody's like hideout or place they lived in or place they come from is just sparse. There's nothing in the room. Yeah. It's just rooms that are vast and empty and boring. Yeah. I haven't lost anyway, one thing. We I'm won't talk too much about it because yeah. I know there are people who haven't seen it in the chat. Yeah. But 
like I think the overall was it we enjoyed like we enjoyed it. It oh. wasn't it wasn't a bad experience. I, I liked it more than he did. I enjoyed it I while think. I was watching it. It was like a roller coaster, but at the end you go, eh, okay. Yeah. But I, I'm 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 optimistic for Doom the second part for more character development because that's what I think was a little lacking in it. Yes. But yeah. when you think about the subject, like the material, there's so much to cover yeah. that it's not really surprising that that it's a little light on that. But. And I. Oh, thank you, Ground Trooper, for subscribing. Yay! Thank you. Late and can't stay. Just checking in to see if you were still going. Yes, we are. Almost done. We have one more <laughs> game to play. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to give up on this. Yeah. I think you bit, hit wave 16. I hit 14 <laughs> Without or 17 Without one or mistake. Oh, yeah. Look okay. at you. Perfect. Let, the, let, let them explode. It's yes. fun when they explode. Go boom. for it. Oh, boom. 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 Oh, boom. whole thing. Boom. There we go. Yeah. Hey. Isn't doing a book, a boring book about political, political intrigue? I think it kind of is. <laughs> Is this a reskin of a game? Yes, it is a hack of his own game. Mm -hmm. um, it is a hack of uh, Keep Them Out. This is Keep Them Out Halloween edition. Nice. So he's able to put all his fun skulls that he loves putting in games into it. Um, so the last game we have today is Unholy. Thought I'd bring that out mm -hmm. one more time since it's... Uh, it's, it's got thunder Perfect. and lightning in it. It, it does. It so does. Yeah. I thought it was okay. uh, a good thing to uh, mm -hmm. put on the show. Because we hadn't actually played it on Halloween. Mm. We've played it other times. We won't play too much of it because we did win the game last time. Mm -hmm. So we'll just play a little bit of it because it's fun to look at. Very nice. Oh, sorry. In your, be in your face. Um, very nice looking game. Four hours. The six hour is a myth. Oh, for the um, the original. Deal. Part one in small print. Yeah. Into three movies. It's possible. I, I think if they're they, like, I think we they want were talking more about two... money. But there's so many More books. More money. <laughs> no, but there's so many books and sequels. That's true. I've heard people say they can keep going if they want. Like, oh, there's so true. much content there if they want to. But I think this one is supposed to be two mm. films. Um, I'm looking forward to the second one. Uh, it was good. It was good. But um, do you, are you? No, nope, you're fine. Me? Okay. Um, I mean, this was one where we um, mapped the whole thing. And, you need to map this. Well, yeah, we're just going to run through it, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Peter Jackson managed to turn The Hobbit into a three movie for a book that can be read in a single yeah. night. That's a problem. Did we ever see it? All of them? Oh, God, no. Oh, you know what? I, I, it's I trash. Kinda... It's a trash film. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, on the other hand, is magnificent. Oh. Oh, you Oh. You want to get those. Ah! What? No, you what definitely want to get those. You have to shoot them lots of times. Shoot, 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 shoot. You want to get those pots, I especially know. now that you... I know, you... I forgot you have to shoot it. Yeah. But there could be bad things coming out of yes, it. Yes, I do. I remember that now. But Lord of the Rings just... We, we saw it at a, on a marathon not that long ago. Last uh, two years ago, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. The extended re version of Return of the King is my favorite of the three. Oh, they're just so good. Yay! Hey, did that just magically appear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. This is Unholy by Leonardo Santiago, who also made Egypt Quest and Unholy. Um, the story is based on a legend from my city. A young lady, Isabella Lorraine, gave a carnival party in her mansion on a Christian reserve date, disrespecting her parents and the traditions. At the party, an uninvited person, Daniel Evander Von Icarus Lutox, uh, or just D-E-V-I-L. Start to seduce her. She fell in love with him, giving a passionate kiss. But after the kiss, a lightning hit the mansion, killing almost every guest. And then the devil got the lady's body. A young monk, Gabriel Saint... 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 Saint uh, from a monastery nearby was designated to save the survivors and take the young lady back. It is a very fun adventure game. And... Oh, he went off the screen. That's okay. An excellent use of the playfield for um, 
the design of the levels. Like if you look back at that last level, oh my god, the, the skull head. And then some come in with blood. Splotching like this one all over the place. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah kill those guys first, then get the potion. I was afraid to get the potion. Sprite work is very well done. Yes, it is very, very well done. Dog. Oh, I thought you were going to go off screen. And if you touch the red part, you get hurt. Yeah. Well, if you stand. Oh! Oh, you went up accidentally. And then you went through the. You're um, right, I did. I, I went through the door. That yeah. was inten unintentional. Oh, you're oh, well. pressing up That's okay. rather than to the, to the left. Well, I was trying to. Ah, what are you doing? It's a short game. I'm all off now. On um, February 8th, this is actually after we played this, Unholy will be distributed by Atari Age soon. Uh, that was this year. Uh, it was scheduled to be released at the end of last year, but due to the large volume of games, which there was a large volume of games, we prefer to release it earlier this year. It will be soon published in the store, so it may actually be published very soon for Atari Age. Because, um... Oh my Al gosh, come on. Al was... See, look at that nice design on the floor. Al was talking about doing a, um... Yum, 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 yum. Oh, happy cats! Happy cats! Don't forget I get treats, too. Ah! You get a treat, too? It's treat time, yum yum yum. It's treat time, yum yum yum. Where are the cat treats? Oh, there they are. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I had to feed all the kitties. Not just the cat cats, I had to feed the human cats too. James, did you order Zark Stars? I decided to pull the trigger on the purchase for this item. No, I have not ordered Zark Stars because I haven't seen any video of it. You want to see what it is first? Uh, everybody's buying the game and you, they haven't posted one speck of video of it. Like, they've posted a couple screenshots, but I will definitely not buy a game without video. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big gamble. Even though his games are very good. They're very, very, very good. But I don't know even if I like the the genre of the game. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's a space shooter. I'll, I'll, I'll like it. But I'm just I'm risk averse, <laughs> I'd say. Bring the bell. You don't get treats without the bell. Bring it. No, that's a paddle. Oh. Oh, he was trying to play the Atari. He was trying to paw the paddle. No, he's like... Isn't that a bell? Good kitty. Good kitty. Like, That's I so a, funny. Do I get a treat for playing with this? Am I seeing that correctly? You taught Atari to ring the bell. Yes! Yes, we did. He is he's food motivated. <laughs> he is. No, get that pixel. Oh, bad. bad. Ah. That's it for you then. Stealing pixels food. Nope, it's all gone. It's all gone. Did you get the key? Nope. Ah, ah. One more for you. Ah! ah! You missed! Open. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. Yeah. Yeah! Why did you feed me after... It was the opposite hand. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want cat treat dust on my, uh, my human treats. Mmm, rockets. <laughs> cat treat flavored rockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I've seen a lot of people buy the game, Zark Stars, but no, still nobody's posted video of it. Um, there's a key. Blood on the floor, yeah. I know, it's so it's good. Gorgeous. I believe this was nominated for Best Graphics. And Music. Actually, it was nominated for a bunch of things last year. The, the Atari Homebrew Awards. My youngest would eat cat food straight out of the bowl when they're <laughs> when they're two-ish. I'm not surprised. I am. Well, Crossbow, let me know how Zark Stars is. Please record video. <laughs> Maybe it includes a disclaimer. You are not allowed to record video of this game. <laughs> it's possible. Maybe. Maybe. We almost fell in the pit. Yeah. Oh, an eyeball! Uh, 
Oh. Can't exit the room without killing the eyeball. Oh, my, my hairband keeps falling off. There we go. Oh, do you want more food? He's had a lot. Okay, oh, Kelly ordered Zark Stars too. Oh, a lot of people ordering it. I mean, they make good games. He's He makes good games. Mm -hmm. You just wanted to see it before you got it. Yep. Oh, Crossbow says he's going to release the 7800 BIOS install video tomorrow. Might push a hell of it. Very cool. Looking forward to seeing that video and see the BIOS in uh, in action. Yay. A key. A key. It's the orange key. So I think there was five levels. Oh, oh, come no. on. That's terrible. I have to kill it all again. There you go. And in the other room. And there we got the key. key. If you play this game backwards, you can hear a hail Satan. <laughs> Probably. It's got the nice uh, pentagram on the ground. Mm -hmm. Upside down pentagram. Oh my goodness. And the lightning through the windows is such is an such amazing, a nice amazing touch. Yeah. Thunder. Yeah. And um, having the enemies kind of ghosty totally works. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're flashing. Huh? This is, this is a game with um, projectiles as a sprite. Because if you notice, when he throws the cross, they actually flash with the enemies. And the cross is too thin to not be a sprite. Oh no, no, it could have been, it could have been a missile. Yeah, just a single, single, then a quad, single, single. Yeah, it could have been. Whoa, did you guys play Haunted House earlier? I, no, we didn't. Have I played Haunted House on, I'm the show? sure I have. I think so. So I don't want to repeat games that we've played on Halloween before, because so, I'm sure I've played it before. I haven't! Amazing. We have not played Haunted House. No? We're going to play that next year. All I did right. have it on my list, but I already had enough games. Mm. So Haunted House is going to have to go for next year. 2022 Halloween. Um... What was the first game that scared you? Ooh. Captain Classic said it would probably be Doom for me. The atmosphere grunts constantly. Look over your shoulder. See if some door let the enemies in behind you. Yeah, that... That would have been definitely a more frightening game. One of the first <sighs> frightening games. It's For me, it's anything that jumps out at you. I'm trying to think I of... Remember, what was, the first, what was the first game with, like, the weird... Walking through halls and Nazis and oh, that's uh, uh, Wolfenstein. 3D. Wolfenstein, that game scared me. Uh, ah, stuck. That's gonna be a tough time in there. Uh, I think there's like, oh, probably Missile Command. Actually, that's the game that first scared me. Yeah. The the quiet atmosphere and when it blows up the whole screen. Yeah. That was super frightening, and you have to. Think about the Weirdly. time that you played it in in the 80s. Yeah. When everybody was scared of scared nuclear, of nuclear war. war. yeah. That is the first game that frightened me. So that would have been early 80s. Yeah. So all these missiles are coming in and destroying your cities. And the, the sound effects in that game were so good. Yeah. So, so good. Crossbow said Amnesia and Soma qualify, might qualify. Can't think of any games in 16-bit systems that were truly scary. No, yeah. Haunted House is kind of nerd-wracking. Captain Classic, I suppose the bosses in Wolfenstein scared me. They it, it just things many would shots to kill. Jump yeah. out at you, and that's what would it was it was almost more like, ah, you know, like it things would, would kind of scare me that way. Kev Kelly says, I used to have nightmares when I was little that was like missile command. Oh, yeah, that would do it if you were small and watched a lot of news about USSR coming to kill us. 
and somebody played Missile Command and explained what was going on. So I remember even war games scared me, like watching war oh, games. Oh, yeah. Because that was the same topic. It was all about nuclear destruction. What was the miniseries you said was, like, absolutely terrifying? Um, oh, Dreads. Dreads, yeah. That's horrific. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more ultimately depressing. Just so depressing and bleak. Yeah. We're going to do a movie marathon where it's just bleak movies. No, no, just no, I don't want that. super <laughs> depressing, all bleak all what the would, time. What would, what would be the movies on your on your list? Uh, well, it would probably be um, Schindler's List is pretty Which awful. I haven't seen, so I could include um, that. Pretty sad. It would... Isn't there Sophie's Choice, which I've never seen? That's another Holocaust one that's yeah. supposed to be just devastating. Yeah. Um, but that, I guess that's... Is it bleak? Oh. Requiem for a Dream? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it just fell. Not bleak enough. Not, not bleak enough? not quite bleak enough. You don't think so? I think that's no. pretty bleak. That's got a pretty... Grave of the Fireflies. Pretty... Oh, God. That's just <laughs> sad. You just want to cry for, like, hours on end? Um... Grave of the Fireflies. That is just something else that film. Yeah. The, uh... Dog episode of Futurama. Oh. <laughs> I was, like that there level. Was, where there you're was like, something on Reddit uh, where they showed their daughter that, that episode for the first time uh, and they filmed them. And I'm like, what kind of parent would do that to their child? So it was so brutal. And she was she looked like she was around teenage oh, and no. she just starts bawling. <laughs> and I'm just like, who would do that to their kid? It's such a sad episode. Yeah. Requiem for a Dream is it? great film and we just did a yeah a darren aronofsky film festival two two nighter mm. um that was a lot of fun a lot of great films in there <laughs> it is bleak yeah uh i don't think we'll s s it won't be horror films Ugh. somebody suggested i spit on your grave which i haven't seen ah! oh that was you bad. still keep the key oh, you got two out of four ah. very good Run, Forrest, you're almost dead. Please, please, please don't be a bad guy. And I've never shown that one to my boys, even though they're adults now. Um, the Futurama? I don't know which one he's referring to. <laughs> it's a bunch of films there. Uh, Beyond the Forbidden Forest on the Commodore 64 was really eerie. I've never seen that. Oh, there's a rescue. I know, I can't to get to him, though. Dog popping out of the walls in Alley Cat. Especially with the cage. Bird cage level, that's funny. Oh, it's referring to the Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah, that's Oh, it's it's just oh, devastating, devastating that film. Just so devastating. devastating. Yeah. At any age, no matter what. Yeah. Ugh. Original Dawn of the Dead is a classic. Yeah, that's a good film. Yeah. I don't know about devastating. Oh, oh at the end. I think I've got some more on my list. I don't know what movies. For bleak films. Like bleak films. Bleak to me means a very, very negative. Super negative oh, outlook got a, on things. Got a key. Oh, um, nice. Um, like a very, very you you walk away from it with just a negative view of humanity. Like <laughs> that to me is, yeah, is bleak. Yeah. Like or the world, you know, humanity yeah. or the world you live in, one or the other. I've written it down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, throw threads. Um, the mist. The mist. Oh, it's like oh. the more recent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one is. The sweet. road. Yeah. Um, one I've never seen, but it's supposed to be depressing. Plague dogs. Mm. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should rewatch. Don't remember Grave of the Fireflies. Oh my god. <gasps> You, if you've seen it, you remember it. Yeah. Um, it's two kids that survived the bomb. No, no, yeah, don't talk about no, it. Just no, just the beginning. No, like, no. That's what happens immediately, yeah. almost. Survived the fire bombings of. Uh, it's just. It's just. I can't remember which it's city. A, it's a Japanese city. Yeah. During World War II. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Last life. One more, I think. Yeah. Oh come on! There's like no space. <laughs> that's the problem. That is the problem get away from it to shoot it. Yeah. Ugh. 
It's a Studio Ghibli film. Yeah. It's definitely the darkest it, one. It's, it's, wow. It's, the other ones it's aren't harsh. not dark. They're all no, kind of they just fun bleak. and they... happy. No, the other ones. I mean, oh, the Studio Ghibli. The studio Ghibli. Generally. Yeah. yeah. They're not quite so. Happy go lucky. Not quite so devastating. Except maybe the first one they did. Which one was that? Which is the environmental one. Where they're going out, where humanity's going after these big creatures, but by killing the big creatures, they're upsetting the balance of nature. Oh. And, and the protagonist is like, stop killing the creatures, you're messing things up. Oh, what is it called? Uh, this... No, I can't remember. No. Do you want to play a bit? Nope. You're almost sure? done. I need to jump up. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can might as well take over. I don't know where you are or what's happened. Oh, oh you're at the end of a level, so we'll keep going. Oh, a potion. I will defeat these guys first. Get the potion. Might actually finish this game. Oh my god. Got three keys. Oh god. Ah. The witch. The witch is pretty, pretty bleak. Yep. Very good film. That, that would be a very bleak one to watch. I don't know if she... Oh, we're at the end? Oh no, I can't escape. I did enjoy The Witch quite a bit. But I enjoy bleak films. I'm trying to think of really bleak sci-fi films. Moon is very bleak. Very bleak film. Really like that. do the marathon of bleak films i think it would be good to get a nice cross section of them of different genres not all like ah not all like um nuclear war films what do you say blade runner <laughs> closest uh, uh Silent yeah they're running i don't know that one. oh I haven't seen that film. I, I, it's a space film. Oh, okay. Where I think the guy is by himself. Oh, alone in space? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I can't remember. I do like... So. Jojo Rabbit is a gut punch. Yeah, I, I like that film yeah, a lot, actually. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was a, a good film. Um, Fail Safe, I don't know that one. Jack Rabbit nope. was a cool bleak Indian film. No, don't know Jack that Rabbit, one either. Nope. The Mist, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, on the list that's already. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I don't yeah. like about The Mist is the religious woman in the store. She's just freaking out constantly. It's so annoying. She's terrifying, it's so though. so great. I find her terrifying. terrifying? That actress she's is just... amazing, though, that, that woman. Um... Just the character's so grating. Mm. Not the act. The actress is good, but uh, the character's like, Ah, oh, shut up! <laughs> shut up! Stop your nonsense. <laughs> The rest of it's good. I like the rest of it. Go, go, go. Oh! Oh, bad time. Oh, no. Surprising since ScarJo is one of my weekend passes. <laughs> yeah? Is she? I don't want to tell you anything. <laughs> I don't even have any, so not allowed. So he says. <laughs> no, that means you're allowed. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm in the film business. I'm not allowed to have any. Because <laughs> there's a there's a more than a slim remote chance. Remote chance you'll meet one of these people. <laughs> yeah. Remote <laughs> chance, very. Uh, very good game. I love the atmosphere of this game. Um, really, really good. Unholy. <sighs> fun games again. For Halloween. It's always They're always fun to, amazing. It's always I always fun to love do the Halloween show. and themed games. Always. Yeah. They're always good. People get so creative with the sprites and the characters. Yep. And it's just so much fun. Eraserhead is pretty bleak too, actually. Oh, that's bleak. Yeah. It's about somebody who doesn't want a kid or freaked out about fatherhood, really. Yeah, it yeah. is actually. He said that's and what And it's, it's the about. most nightmarish scenario yeah, ever. <laughs> it's true. A kid that just cries for no reason. You can't console Hours them. Hours on end, yeah. Just nonstop crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty bleak film. Yeah, Donnie Darko is pretty bleak, too. Oh, Donnie that's Darko's a good, a good one. film, yeah. I'm going to add that one to my list. Yeah, right oh, now. oh, he's, he's yeah, you've, you've, 
It's not the most extreme on the bleak end. No, but it is. It is. It is. It's pretty bleak. It's like a fatalistic film, kind yeah, of. It's yeah. Like you can't escape. You can't it. escape. You know, yeah. Death at the end of the day, right? Yep. If you've seen it. No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> it kind of gives away the beginning, the end of the beginning, and it's just like, yep, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Sorry. Um, so coming up on the show, uh, the next episode, we have the exclusive world premiere of Kicks by Champ Games. You do yes. not want to miss this. It is incredible. I played a couple seconds of it. I didn't want to get too far into it. It's good. It's really good. Uh, along with 1942 by Alan the Fur, he's getting further and further along. It's an actual game now. Last, last episode, he's like, it's not a game. Don't play it. He's, it's got lives now. <laughs> yeah. There's, you crash into the other planes. They don't shoot yet, but who knows? Maybe by Tuesday they'll start shooting. Um, but it's it's still good enough to look at, I think. Yeah, it's... um. Thank you so much, Mike Sol McMuse and Meta Lunar and yeah. Dan ABC. Everybody liked it. Yeah. ET's VPN, Grave of the Flyer Fires is available everywhere except USA and Japan. Oh. oh it's available in Canada. VPN. Oh, Excellent. it's worth looking at, yeah. Uh, I own it on, too, too on bleak, disc. So. Too bleak, too bleak. No, Multiple versions a, on disc. That's that's a one-off type. Like, ugh. And then we're going to be playing uh, <laughs> Sadoom Plus and Kaboom uh, for the patch yeah. and fail miserably, but we're going to try because that's a hard patch in my opinion. Uh, then we have the exclusive secret world premiere of Muddy Funster's new game, uh, a.k.a. Lewis Hill. Well, that's mm. his real name. Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. <laughs> Um, and that's on next Friday, and he's going to be on the show live with us talking about his new game. That's awesome. Uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. And then on After Dark, on that day, we're going to be playing Crazy Balloon uh, as part of the 2600 High Score Showdown. And that's a pretty fun game. I like that game. Do you remember that one? Yes. Going through a maze, and yes. your balloon's going like this. It's and very puzzly. Time. I like that Yeah, you have lot. to go at the right time. Yes, Ooh. it's really good. Yeah. yeah, that's a fun game. Uh, and then on the 16th of November, we have some exclusive world premieres by Eric and Robert Anschutz and John Weisgerber, some 8-bit games. Um... Halloween 3 Kaboom has different colors than the one available in the Plus card. Um, yeah, that one was given to me directly by the developer, so I don't know if he's going to release that. It came out in 2018. Mm. I don't know. Just have to ask him. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, then I've scheduled a break because I have stuff to do and I haven't... I need to catch up on stuff. Um, but if I catch up, then we'll continue on. Um, and then the Holiday Homebrew Special on December 24th. Excellent. With some uh, snow-themed games, Looking I guess. Looking forward yeah. to that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and uh, somewhere in the mix, we're going to have a secret world premiere from M.K. Smith, Matt Smith, for a 7800 game. Mm -hmm. And we're gearing up. Just paid for the trophies for the annual Atari Homebrew Awards. You saw, saw that. that charge go I through? I saw that charge go through. <laughs> yes. yes, I did. <laughs> yep. So they're on their way. Okay. Um, to the P.O. box. So oh. We're going to go across the border. Are we? Yep. Well, we have to get see. tested. Get stuff, stuff, <laughs> stuff. It stuffed might up just be nose. one of us. Like, no, we we're going to go to. We both have to get tested. Oh, yeah, but we're going to go to Trader Joe's too. <laughs> get gas. Is it worth getting like stabbed up the nose for Trader Joe's? <laughs> <laughs> that it, rhymes. It, <laughs> I don't know. You never be. brought me water. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you have water. Tiny. But the show's over. So it's okay. yeah. They have uh, a cheek, cheek swab now. Do ooh, they? Oh. Not for the thing we need to do. No, because I think we have to do the PCR test, yes. not the um. Does the PCR test have test? Uh, cheek swabs? No. Or is it I don't, brain stabbing? I, don't, I think it's brain stabbing. I could be wrong. I hope. I could Maybe be they've wrong. developed it better now. We haven't, yeah, had to. It's worth have... getting stabbed up the nose for Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be their Canadian ad campaign. Because Canadian... we don't have Trader Joe's up here. Yes. <laughs> so we have to go across the border. <laughs> there was something called Pirate Joe's in Vancouver. Yes. Where some guy would go across the border, buy all the products, come back. He had his own store yeah, set up. It was completely illegal. <laughs> completely illegal. <laughs> yes. Called Pirate Joe's. Yeah. It was very cool for a while. <laughs> We never went there. 
it was shut down like, oh very quickly yeah, yeah but yeah. um yeah. anyway that's funny yeah, yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see yeah <laughs> uh either way i'll get the trophies mm. yeah. we'll figure uh, that out yeah um yeah and we have the zph the game release and giveaway sometime in december mm -hmm. i need to that's one thing i need to work on is the the art and the man manual. Ma manual for that yeah 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 well you'll have some time to work on that maybe during the break uh or james has my unreleased don't go rom and all the ntsc versions of my 10 liners oh, yeah. yay <laughs> um you should release them are you going to do anything with them you should release them um, or are you going to put them all on one disc or one cartridge? Yeah. Or, yeah. You cannot have Trader Joe's in Canada. <sighs> the sign needs to be in French. That I think that's what he got shut down. No, he made his own labels. He made his own labels. But they weren't proper because you have to get things tested properly. You can't just yeah. translate. Yeah. You have to do stuff. Anyway. Yeah. I think the cheek swab is new. They uh, used to have the nose thing in schools require PCR. <gasps> mm. The cheapest I've found is $75 so far, Canadian. Is that the actual PCR, though? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay. Because I said that to someone at work, and they didn't believe you. To believe I me. I found it. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure my husband it was found PCR. it. It was PCR. I made sure. Because it was 120 or 130 I've Canadian. I found ones that are that high. Yeah, but, but then he 75. said 75. But it's, I have to do more research. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll see what the quality of that is. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't care what the quality is. As long as it's As long as the government accepts it. As long as it's negative, then you're fine. Yeah. I almost said as long as it's positive, you're fine. <laughs> I don't want uh, it positive. Because no, then they won't no. let us across the border. <laughs> what if we find yeah. out it is positive? Mm. We've had a mild case all along. Just continuous. Continuous Continuously mild case. Mild case. Just a continuous... That's where all the headaches came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Can you imagine if you're like... You no, know, you're you're basically typhoid Mary. You're just constantly <laughs> shedding shedding and spreading the virus. Yeah. Yeah. wonder if they've it's come the across cats, anyone actually. like that. It's the cats. 75 for a rapid test. Oh. Um, but that's somewhere else. Anyway. Um, so McMuse has released it. Yay! Tober's Nightmare. Thank you, awesome. McMuse. People so are going awesome. to love yes. that game. They're going to download it so on mass. Everybody download yeah. it. Enjoy yeah. it. Play it over yeah. Halloween. It's Halloween themed. Yeah. Gather your family around the console mm -hmm. <laughs> and play it. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, have a good weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Metal Lunar RC70. Mm -hmm. Mick Muse, thank you for letting us debut your amazing game. Mm. Great graphics. Great so good. Game Perfect play. Halloween game. Nice Perfect Halloween. Balanced gameplay. It's a single screen, but there's two parts to it. Yeah. You don't have to switch off. This yeah. is what everyone needs to be doing on Sunday. Non metric packaging, yes. Yeah. Me too. Playing, playing Tober's Nightmare. Yeah. Pausing in the house to give the candy for the trick or treaters, That's and then right. going back into and playing the game. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Charles Whelan, thanks for watching. Captain Classic, Vitoko, Charles Whelan, Kev Kelly, Mike Soul, Atari 2600 Dude, yeah. Prow 7, Crossbow. Uh, looking forward to that video tomorrow, if you get time. Uh, uh, Rena Foot. And... Yeah. Thank you for keeping score. Yeah. Uh, who else? Andy Cat, Rendered Ghost. Good name. Yes. <laughs> Good name for tonight. Yes. Oh, and he gave treat time once. Oh, thank you for excellent. the treat time. The yes. cats, thank you. They do enjoy the treats. Oceanics, yes. 42. Thank you for tuning in. Ground Trooper, Ground Trooper. for resubscribing. Yes. Andy Cat. Who else? Crow seven, I think you. I don't seven. remember. Oh, we got it. But it's all good. Lots of people in the chat What's today. Fun. Oh, thanks. It's great. Um. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll be back on Tuesday with a big premiere of Kicks from John Champo from Champ Games. Um. Go, go meet him. Yeah. If you're in wherever that was, <laughs> rewind the show. It's at the top of the show. <laughs> You've already forgotten. Tennessee, I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Nashville, thank Nashville. you. Nashville. Somewhere down there. Yeah. Somewhere that requires a COVID test for us to it travel is Tennessee. to. <laughs> Isn't that Nashville, Tennessee? Nash Nashville, yeah. I got it right. Yeah. Just not specific <laughs> enough. Not specific enough. Oh, Spiceware. Thank you for watching as well. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, yeah, so tune in on Tuesday for that big uh, reveal premiere. Yep. Oh, and, 
Leopold is a cat. Thank you for joining too, who complimented the pumpkin. So there you go. Oh, I missed that. Leopold yeah. is a cat. Meow. Yes. We're cats too. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we will talk with you on Tuesday and see you then. So have a good weekend, everyone. Yes. Have a spooky weekend. Have a spooky Eat week. lots of candy. Have Eat a lot of fun. Of Dress candy. up. Yes. Lots of candy. Give your cats lots of treats too. Yeah. Yes, they deserve cat candy too. Not real candy, cat candy. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.